All right, can you guys hear me better now? Sorry about that. Hi, it's me, Tim Dodd, the Everyday Astronaut. Okay, today is <clears throat> something quite exciting. Quite exciting. Um, this is something I've been waiting for for a long time. Those of you that know me know that Kerbal Space Program is half the reason I know anything about rocket science and about rockets. And uh, I've been playing it since 2013. I've been playing it for a long time. And KSP2 came out this year to quite mixed reviews. One of the biggest issues is just simply how buggy it is and the lack of a career mode, right? So career is where like you, you kind of level up parts, you get new parts as you explore. The more you explore, the more you can build and do and, and et cetera, et cetera. That was lacking originally. And just today, as of four minutes ago, you can now play the update, which is called For Science. And this is this is a big deal. I'm like I said, I'm I'm really excited about this. This is something that you know I've been wanting to, wanting them to do since since I first played it uh, earlier this year. So let's just dive in. Let's just play a full game, and and we're gonna start a, a brand new campaign. Start a new campaign. Uh, we want this to be game mode exploration. I think. Wait. Yeah, exploration. Cool. Okay. Normal difficulty, sure. Campaign name. Oh, great. I'm so... I wish I was wittier, guys. What should we call it? Um... How about, um, 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 something, something... Uh, uh, every day... <sighs> every day, Daffy. Every Daffy. Every Daffy Spiance Control. That's the worst. That's literally... I couldn't have done worse. I. There's nothing I could have done that could have made that better. How about just everyday astronaut? The space program. <laughs> Dang it. You can't go longer. Everyday astronaut. Uh, no. Everyday... Mm -mm. <laughs> I, you know... Yeah. Good, good enough. We're keeping it, we're keeping it really original with, okay, what are we going to do for this? I want something cool. I kind of like this, this flag. Oh, agency colors. We need this to change. We're going to do base as black and accent as the everyday astronaut orangish, which is around there. Set agency colors. Okay. Cadet orientation. Is that like Additional information outside of tutorials. I don't think we need that. I don't think... Oh, there are new modes and introduce... Uh, maybe we should. Maybe we should do that because there might be some new things that I should actually pay attention to. <laughs> Alright. Let's do it. Oh, agency name. Wait, camp... Agency name! Arrgh. Everyday AstroTurf. Actually, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, the agency is actually gonna be, be the everyday astroturf. Okay. Cause it's like home turf. That's really dumb. It's that's really dumb. All right, let's start this up. Let's fire this up. Now, one of the big complaints before was obviously the bugs. There's a lot of bugs. There's a lot of wobbly rockets. There are a lot of things that just simply didn't work well. A lot of those things supposedly have been fixed. Um, the performance has def. Let's listen to this. Hang on. How do I? Let me know if you guys can hear that. <laughs> it's like an old Cosmos episode. Got some old, old school looking photos. I like this.
All right, I guess that's what we get. All right, it was just a little fun little thing. Okay, exploration mode. Be sure to visit mission control. Completing missions is one way. Okay, yes, this is this is the key here. This is how you get more science. If you want to start building right away vehicles, so, well, we don't really want to build until we might as well get a, a program going or our, some missions going. Our engineers have created a training program. Yeah, we don't need that. We don't need that. All right, so let's go to the mission control and get a sense of what missions there are. Launch a rocket. I think we can accept that contract. Time to launch, uh, launch a rocket from Kerbin and achieve an altitude of at least 10 kilometers. I think we can do that. We'll get 25 science points if we do that. Track mission? Is that like... Well, I don't know why we have to track. What's track mean? Track mission. Um, okay, between you and Carrie, and I'm going to accept all missions. Uh, Carrie will automatically accept all missions, which leaves you to decide when and how to complete them. She's already got a mission for you. Mission log to see the objective. Okay. If you select track mission, then you can use the mission tracker app in flight to see the status of your objectives. Once you're clear on your way to go to the assembly building and complete a rocket. Okay. Let's get to the vehicle assembly building. Let's... Okay, so all we have to do for the first mission is uh, get 10 kilometers. That should be super easy. Yep, parts picker, we know all this. This is all pretty, pretty standard. Engineering report, yep. Trip planner, yep. Launch, that's the fun part. The training center teaches you everything. Okay, we don't need that. All right, so we don't have a ton of parts yet, obviously. But we do have a nice little command module. We have, we do have a, a stack decoupler and a parachute. So parachute is going to be important. Now, one of the things, I don't think we have a heat shield yet. Meaning, I don't want it to actually go too high on this first one. Because, um, okay, this does vector. Uh, if we go too high, we could actually end up accidentally burning up because that is now a new thing. So we want to, okay, we'll just go here to, we need a decoupler so we can decouple from the rocket, obviously. Um, we need some tanks. We'll just, we'll just do a single stage rocket. I, I want this mission to be over as quick as possible because I want to see how far I can get today. And I've got some family obligations this evening. So I want to get, get the show on the road. You know what I mean? And I want to see how far we can get. So we're going to just basically be like, what's that called? Speed running this more or less. But we don't want anyone to, we don't want to kill anybody. We don't want to lose any Kerbins. We do just want to do this in a hurry. All right, let's get to 10 kilometers. Easy. This should be super easy. All right. You guys ready? Does this rocket even need to be crewed? That's actually our only option so far. Ah! I'm blasting my own ears. Okay, you guys ready for this? Let's see how quickly it gets out to the... <laughs> I couldn't even finish the sentence. So that's good. I like that. Yeah, flight cluster. Yeah, you speed up or yep. Yep, staging. Like to learn more? Nope, we're ready. Okay, and throttle's already at 100%. You guys ready for this? Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, lift off. Holy thrust to weight ratio. I think we've got high enough thrust to weight ratio. We're gonna hit our app laps is already 2,000, 3,000. 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000. Look at those clouds. I haven't played this with the new volumetric clouds yet either. Okay, we're already at, <laughs> we're already gonna hit our peak. I'm just gonna stop. I'm just gonna stop because I don't <coughs> really want to spend more time. There we go. Return to mission control to submit mission brief. Congratulations, we completed our first objective. You know what we should do though? We should slightly get this to make sure we splash down in the ocean and that we don't drop rocket parts on our space center. So I'm going to kind of fly horizontally just a little bit. This, this is just for safety. Okay, now jettison our the booster. So that's still going to be coasting with us. I know it looks like it's falling back towards the space center, but if you look here, both of us and the debris 
are on a very outwardly trajectory into the ocean, water, map, area. So it's just the differential here between ourselves and that booster. You know, we ejected from it. So now the big thing is we do want to be pointing with our sh lack of a heat shield. See, this is another reason why I didn't... We do have heating now in this game. Now, luckily, we're suborbital. We're not going very fast. We should be totally fine. I should have just tried to land it. Why didn't I just try landing it like... You're right, guys. Why didn't I just try and land it? Can I display the NVIDIA performance overlay? I don't even know where that is. Nor how to do it. I can put up the frames per second, I think. Um, let me see if I can, if I can load that up quick. Where is that? Graphics. We're on full blast. Oh, we're only doing 1080. Not that it matters, because my we're only streaming in 1080. Where's there is a thing that shows like we are still flying the mission, by the way. I thought there's a thing that shows uh, user interface general. Where is that? Alt R. I don't see anything yet. I realize my face is a little bit in your guys' uh, in the way there of some of this stuff, so I'll just move it down a little bit. Alt R does not seem to be doing anything. Alt R. Alt Z. Now I did, I mapped Z to, to be my throttle, but I don't, I still don't see it. Like I said, I'm, uh, does that, because I mapped Z to something different? I mapped Z to full throttle. I know not to try Alt F4. Guys, I, uh, no, I have a 4090 in here. Uh, from my end, what's funny is I'm actually capturing this through a, a capture card as well, so I actually have lag from the capture card. <laughs> but when I play this natively, like without, so it's really confusing. I mean, I'm basically using two computers just so I don't have to mess with stuff. All my OBS stuff is still on my Mac, and then I'm just pulling this feed in <laughs> and running it through OBS. So I'm actually playing through OBS, but it's totally smooth on my end. Like, I, I don't know. Oh, I better get the shoot going, huh? I maybe should have done that a little bit earlier. Uh, shoot. <laughs> okay, oh my god. Uh. Alt and R equals frames per second, and Alt R should be the NVIDIA overlay. Huh. Yeah, those shoots are sick, actually. I like the, the like, the, uh, the bubbliness of them, the buoyancy, the, the fluidity of them. This is looking good. All right, our first mission. I'm gonna speed up because nobody wants to. Nobody wants to watch this. All right, so far it's looking good. So far, let's see if you know we have any problems when splashing down. Hopefully the bugs are squashed. I've never had problems myself splashing down. Oh yeah, crew report. Is that still a thing? Active vessel is recoverable. You, just, you can recover through the escape menu. Your vehicle will be recycled and your crew returned. Okay. So, recover vessel. Confirm. Alright, so let's get to... Back to KSC. So fast! I like that. I do like that. That's nice. Okay, so let's go to back to mission control, see what else we have. Launch a rocket, yes. Select mission in mission and then select submit mission. 
so submit. Welcome back. Thrilling work on the launch pad today. Reporter passed out because of all the excitement. That sounds like me. I think they're making fun of me. Uh, then again, it could have been all the rocket fumes. Okay, gotcha. They asked all about you, but I just said no comment. Haha. -ha. I think the joke went over their heads. Okay. Anyway, you're off to a great start after our debrief. Submit the mission. Report and earn some science. And don't forget to swing by the little light bulb R&D center to see what new parts are available. Yes. So does it automatically unlock the tech tree here? Gotcha. The folks in R&D have some ideas for new advancements. All right. So let's go to the R&D center and see what... So we can actually already unlock radial decouplers. Oh man, we have enough to do some crazy stuff. We might as well get more science parts. The environmental scanner module clipped. Your vessel will be able to gather more detailed reports from all over the Cabraler system, which will translate to even more delicious blue science points for every fascinating new location. I'm absolutely going to do that because that will help us unlock more science right away. I want to fly through this tech tree as quick as possible. This is research. Spend the science you earn through mission experience and research new parts and build even cooler vehicles. If you're a fan of bigger, better engines, focus on the parts near the top of the tree. Cool. All right. I think we did it. Researched. All right, so now back to KSC. Uh, what's the right way to get out of here? Uh, let's get back to mission control. I didn't quite see. So now we have to just have to get out of the atmosphere, track mission. An altitude greater than 70 kilometers. That's going to be easy. That's going to be easy. Yeah, I don't have the G-Force experience and the overlay or anything. Right Alt and R, I tried that too. Right Alt R. Like I said, it might be because I have different things mapped to different things and different things and things. Okay, so now we're just trying to get over... I, I'm, again, I think I'm just going to do this as quick as I can, just so... I mean, that rocket we just built would literally pretty much do exactly what we need it to do. I think that can get above... We'll build this a tiny bit taller. Should we try and... <laughs> should we try and just propulsively land this thing? Or is that a horrible idea with... Kerbins on board? Let me think about this. <laughs> I saw one... Yes, and that's all it takes for me, I guess. It's just one person going, yep, do it. So we still can't do a fuel uh, priority, right? Oh yeah, my new science part needs to go on here. Thank you. Okay, science collector. Now do I have to do something to make that do a thing? Science junior. Like do I have to make an action group or anything? Where's action groups again? Okay, action group. Custom one. Science. This guy. Run. So we'll just have to remember when we get to the top. We'll hit one. Collect some science. No, I don't think I'm going to do a decoupler. I think I'm going to try to propulsively land this. No heat shields, no anything. We're just gonna go up and come back down. The only problem that's really gonna be hard with this is that when it comes back down to re-enter. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. At first, we're going to in invert the controls initially. Oh crap! Are these totally passive? They're totally passive. So invert controls won't matter.
There's no landing legs yet, haven't launched, haven't got that far. We do have a parachute as a backup. <laughs> In case this thing's just totally flipping. All right, launch prediction for IFT3, Chazzy. How are you doing, by the way? Uh, I'm gonna say uh, February, net February. So I'm gonna launch slow, so hopefully, and just completely straight up. So that we're basically gonna new shepherd this thing. Uh, there's, here we go, three, two, one, I don't even care. Oh God. Now hopefully we don't go too fast in the lower parts of the atmosphere here. That'd be bad because of those fins at the top. Hopefully this engine just kind of keeps it. Is able to maintain authority. All right. Yeah, is there, no, there's no decoupler. We don't have a decoupler. We don't want a decoupler. We're just trying to get this baby. Okay, we're through the thickest parts of the atmosphere, hopefully by maintaining a completely vertical orientation. Hopefully we can get above 70,000 and leave ourselves some leftover propellant. We're gonna need some to land. We're going to need some to land. We'll build a Saturn V eventually, or a large vehicle, once we unlock enough tech. But so far, we're still in like the Mercury program. But we're trying to do Mercury program 21st century style. All right. Oh, no, no, no. See, uh oh. Did it switch because, yeah, it switched because now we're in orbit. I never remember how to do this. Ground, orbit, surface, keep this up. We want this totally pointed upwards. Are we in space yet? No. But can we do a crew report here though first? Run crew observation. So let's wait until space. Which will have plenty of time in space still. All right. Uh, run crew observation, performing experience. Okay, okay. Okay, we already did that. Let's also run this. I don't know what this is. It's costing us electricity though. We better not do too much of that. I don't know what that, I think that's like sending data. Okay, let's see if we can land this now. So we're obviously, we coast it up, we shut our engines down, and now we're about to come to gravity. We're still actually traveling vertically at almost, so we're still we're still not quite to our peak. You can see we're traveling up just a little bit. There's our apoapsis, so we're at the peak right now. <clears throat> and now we're falling back down. <laughs> okay, like I said, we're going to try and propulsively land. There's a science button on the left that does all your science at once. Well, that's a nice idea. Where? On the left. Science button on the left. Science button on the left. We don't have landing legs unlocked yet, so we're just gonna land this on the engine bells, like, like the good old days. 
It's the titration flask. <laughs> well, yeah, I clicked on it. Hi, Matt. I don't... I don't get it, though. Oh, top right? No, I think... Maybe it's because we already got them all. Odds are that shoots are needed. Where we're going, we don't need shoots. Okay, so let's see how, because we already did all the science, I'm guessing. Cool. How are you, Matt? Good to have our good friend Matt here. Wow. What a, what a dream. <laughs> it's flashing now? Okay, let's hit it again. Did it do more? Oh. Transmit all? All right, I better pay attention to this gravity burn, or this uh, lightning burn we're about to do. So far the atmosphere is not doing much to slow us down. At all. At all. It's, uh, in fact, it's not, how would we say working? I gotta pull the shoots. No shoots. No stages. Why is the atmosphere not slowing us down? Um, <coughs> why did the atmosphere not slow us down? Uh, that might have been a problem. Is that what we call a glitch, or is that... And it's gone. Perfect landing. I don't want to kill any Kerbins. We better just revert. So wait, how? One down, nine to go. No, one down, eight to go. We got nine lives. We got nine lives. Kerbins are just like cats. Kerbals are just like cats. All right, we're doing this again. Why, why? I'm just gonna fly, try just absolutely blasting through the atmosphere with no anything. Oh, it's flashing now, click some. Okay. What we'll do is we'll just do a, a more efficient landing burn. But that stinks, why was there, why was there no, Why wasn't the atmosphere slowing it down? Good idea. We'll try splashing it down still. And now we're going to be in space. No problem. How do I do just like a regular old SAS hold? Like I don't want to point up anymore. How do I just toggle regular SAS? Do I have to hit it twice? Oh, there we go. That button. Okay, so. I'm just gonna practice that. Just so, okay. Let's speed this up. Speed running, speed running. <laughs> Needed a set of air brakes. All right. Return to mission control, submit your science. Okay, okay. Okay, yep, yep. Wait, did it, am I falling back down already? No. So now can I run it again? I wanna run it in space, that's crap. Yeah, I think I already ran it and Hmm. Okay, well, what we're gonna do, on re-entry, we're gonna try just holding an angle of attack using our, like this, using our, just command module. Let's 
see if this does anything to slow us down. If you deploy your parachute too early, it actually does not do well either. Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. Start flying horizontally. We should be getting some atmospheric effects now. We're at 30,000 meters in altitude. But I don't have any more control authority than this, so... If I do this, I do. Unconventional, some might say, but you know. At least we can get slow enough to deploy our chutes this time. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna land it on the beach. So I was, I was aiming it horizontally like that, using the engines to gimbal so that the atmosphere would do more work. Okay, good, I was getting very nervous. And we'll do a little uh, deceleration burn right before we touch down. <laughs> the poor turtles. Is anyone thinking about the turtles here? Is anybody thinking about the turtles? I've never even been over to the seaport before. This is sick. All right. Oh crap. <laughs> oh, no, I destroyed the science. <laughs> I destroyed the science vessel. No, okay, whatever. We'll just keep going here. No more, no more restarts. We're just doing this. <laughs> Well, we lost our science. Mission control. All right. Did so with minimal explosions. All right, let's just auto continue. All right. Thanks. Science? Alright, let's get to the R&D center here. We can now do probes. We can do solid fuel rocket boosters. Uh, I'm not as excited about that. Okay, some of those parts. Aerodynamics, here we go. Now we can actually get some wings and stuff. Let's do that. That'll be nice. Launch clamps. Okay, a few things that are kind of nice. Probes might not be bad. Deployable antenna. Solar panel wouldn't be bad. How much more science do I have? Oh yeah, I have 133 science points? Well, screw it. I guess we're doing everything. Orbital rocketry. Let's do this. All right, upper stage engine and a bigger solid rocket booster. Struts are not a bad thing. Bigger parachutes. Survivability. Heat shield is going to be nice. I would like that. Specialized decoupling. Lights and utilities. Oh, we can basically keep doing all these. I'm going to do struts. I think that's always a good thing. Specialized decoupling. I'll probably do specialized decoupling and 
lights and utilities. All right, we've made it through our tech tree build out. Oh, I didn't even see that I already unlocked those. Moon landing stuff. Okay, I want that, I want that bad. We are going to go to back to mission control. Okay, buoyancy test. Wants you to run some splash on tests so the pod's really airtight, pods aren't meant to sink. Land a pod in a body of water. Okay, easy. Orbit Kerbin. Yeah. With an, apoapsis, with an apoapsis of less than 300, but a periapsis greater. Okay. So we actually have to do a, a targeted... Sweet. Let's do this. All right, so let's start with, let's start with our, we'll just do a simple orbital mission, nothing fancy. Now we actually have some heat shield parts. Where did those go? Utility, arrow, Le we have landing legs now. Okay, we have a heat shield. All right, we've got what it takes. We have other parachutes. We do have a radial mount drogue shoot that I think we're going to want to deploy. We'll stage these separately. Okay, so the radials first. Oh, and we also want to put the science module on here too. Okay, there is our re-entry vehicle. Let's just go back to these this part picker thing. This is basically got everything we need. Okay, let's do one of these. And it, so this this is where this has 335 seconds in specific impulse. So this engine will be better than this. In space, it's lighter too. So it's 0.5 tons, 335 seconds versus 1.4 tons and 320 seconds of specific impulse. So this is definitely the correct engine for an upstate, upper stage vehicle of a vehicle. So now let's go like this. Let's go, let's do three segments of this and an engine. And we'll do some radial decouplers. Um, oh, science is saved in the pod. So we could actually ditch the science. Okay, so science is saved in the pod. In that case, are you guys positive about that? In that case, I'm gonna do this. We're positive? That's why we got so much science from the previous mission, got it. I just realized, I don't know if we can hear the game at all. I don't know if you guys are hearing it. It's quite quiet on my end, and that's my fault. I have a weird way of doing things, because my capture card is not capturing audio. All right, let's throw on some bigger solid boosters. I'm gonna paint these a different color, because I don't like that everything's all one color. We're just gonna make these things. I'm just gonna make these guys two white solid rocket boosters with black accents. And let's take a little nose going on them so they don't look hideous. Alright. Let's strut these together. I don't know how the auto strutting stuff is working yet. We're probably about to be putting the wobble stuff to the test. Alright, let's check our staging here. This first. Okay, that decouple, that decouple, engine, that drogue. This should be enough to get into space. We can also clamp this thing now. How do I just go down? Uh, I need a 
doll. There we go. Better. Not quite centered, but whatever. We'll put two clamps over here. All right, let's get this thing out to orbit. We're gonna put these in that stage. Three thousand meters per second, but that's I think not factoring in how much energy we have in the upper stage. All right, I think we're ready. Hopefully, there's enough to, to actually get us into orbit. Should be close. Verdict so far is is playing great. I don't. I if this was my first experience with Kerbal, I would think this is fantastic. It's smooth and. Responsive. So far, everything's been really good. All right, let's light up this main engine. Here we go. I like how we did it right at the end of the song when it would have been perfect. All right, here we go. Uh, three, two, one, engine and booster ignition. Holy thrust to weight ratio. We can throttle down our main engine, our center engine a lot, save some fuel because we have Plenty of thrust with these solid rocket boosters. We're basically gonna let these things just carry us the first bit until we need the control authority out of them. Until we need the control authority out of the center engine. Because the center, I don't think these, these don't gimbal. The solid rocket booster just sticks. They don't have a way to steer the rocket at all. The only thing that can steer the rocket is our center engine. So we need to start our gravity turn. So we do have to light up that center engine and... All right, ditch those boosters, probably falling right back on on, uh, on Kerbal Space Center there, my bad. All right, so as this goes, so we're, we're targeting at least a, we're gonna go like 100, 100 by 100 kilometer orbit is ideal. I don't want to hit the, the science thing yet. Because we only have one science report we can really do, it seems like. Alright, we're coming up on 70 kilometer for our apoapsis, that's good. We're gonna pitch over even more. Aim right at the horizon. We're trying to we're now worried about gaining velocity. Our periapsis is still minus five hundred and forty thousand meters, so that needs to get up to be equivalent to us basically. It, 80 or so. All right. Let me answer a quick question here. Um, camp, whatever. All right, stage separation. And Second stage ignition, looking good. Okay, Come, like dead serious, this is more or as responsive as any build I've ever had in KSP-1. Again, if this was what they had just released at the beginning. <laughs> okay, oh, we better do a science report now, right? So now, oh, we also want to be careful not to fly too high because we got to stay under 300 and we are risking our periapsis or our apoapsis being too high. So we're actually going to coast up to our, our apoapsis. Okay. Rotate this baby. Find that engine back up. And we're going to park ourselves in this orbit. 100 by 200. Good enough. Um, all right, we lost music.
Okay. That's looking good. So now our the big thing for me is I want to make sure we splash down. So I'm going to target a big fat part of... In other words, we should probably just turn around right now. Run... So we have our science. I don't get it. Recorded cruise assignment. It says zero science though. Samples, data. Okay, well. Science, I can do it again. Let me try again. I mean, I don't really see any more we can do. Crew observations are the same environmental, okay. Okay, now let's, now let's, uh, splash down. So, let's flip this baby around. We're gonna, now going to be facing backwards. Prograde. You can barely see. Let me see if I can boost up the ambience. Is it under gameplay? Oh, this is about heat enabled. Wait, why is it like, yeah, on? That looks like a little glitch where both of them are labeled. Okay, graphics So Let's see if there's like a shadow high. Uh, no, there's not that I know of. Just to make it easier to see, because I'm just seeing kind of shadows. I assume you guys are too. All right. Anyway, let's go ahead and just fire this baby up. Lower our periapsis to aim for the ocean here. We might as well just go pretty, pretty far in. Let's just directly target. Oh, oh, oh! That might be too much. Now we might run into land there. I'm gonna flip back around. I did not mean to. Ah, stop! What am I doing? <laughs> Hitting the wrong keys. Okay, here we go. Throttling up. We're gonna basically aim at... There. That's good enough, because the atmosphere should slow us down. Before we get to there. Oh. That should be fine. Just to be safe, I'm gonna just do... There we go. Okay. F5, quick save, just making sure. Always quick save for safety. Okay. So far, C.W. Layton. I mean, in my opinion, uh, I'm only, what, we're 50 minutes into this? So far, I haven't really seen any real show stopping. Oh, I better, uh-oh, uh-oh. I better, why can't I? Ha <laughs> ha Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm still fast-forwarding. Come on. There we go. Now I want this backwards. Oh, yeah. We're going to be re-entering. Like I was saying, though, there hasn't been any show-stopping issues yet. So far, everything's been smooth. And... I mean, again, uh, I was saying it a few times, but if this was the game that was delivered on day one, I don't think there would have been any complaints. I think people would have been quite impressed. Ooh, we have more science to gather. Hopefully we did it. All right, look at that re-entry heating. Yes, finally. Finally. And we're slowing down. Yes. Finally. This is great. In my opinion, the the flame looks a little stagnant, like looks a little bit too. I know they're trying to make it a lot less GPU intense. It looks a little bit too like static to me, but it's, I'm just happy to see it at this point. Oh, from there it looks better. I mean, in real life, it actually probably wouldn't be moving too much either. 
But I do just kind of wish it was a little bit more dynamic, but hey, so far, no, I like keeping SAS on. I, I, it doesn't really matter, but I like keeping it normally pointed retrograde. All right. Please tell me we're gonna splash down. Boy, we almost, we stopped fast. We almost landed all over the ground. So I'm probably gonna deploy the drogues now. I think we're probably at a reasonable velocity for drogue shoots. Oh, I that looks great. Look at that. There's so much more like motion. Cool. I like it. Uh so the ream just joined. What is happening? Um, let's see here. Disjoined, what is happening? We are doing Kerbal's new update, which is for science, which finally, Kerbal Space Program 2, this finally puts it more, you know, supposedly, is supposed to make it more on par with KSP-1. And my initial verdict is, it, yeah, yeah. So far, it, oh, I deployed the main shoot before I, the drogue shoot even actually deployed. The fully uh, unfrilled. So far, though, I'm, I'm quite, Pleased, yeah. I think this is um, this is doing great, honestly. It's so far been running very smooth, no real issues. It's been quite playable so far. It's been beautiful. Atmospheric effects, heating effects. So far, I'm quite happy. So it's, uh, you know, we'll we'll see by the end of this. I have until. I probably won't play until 5, but we do have until about 5 before I have family obligations tonight. But they do have graphics for re-entry, yep. My, here's the deal, yes, my PC is stacked. This is about as loaded as a PC as you can get. But, but, people are getting like, the frame rate issue I think has been almost completely alleviated, even down to like 1080s and stuff. So it's... My understanding, if I could play this in a worse setting, I would. <laughs> PC is loaded, but I, yeah, I almost should buy like a crappy PC and try this again. But my understanding is, is they've fixed so many performance issues that it's substantially more playable now. All right, we're about to hit the ground. I did buy, a, I ended up with a, a PC from my friends at the Seattle PC company, and uh, they hooked me up. They said, hey, we know you want to play um, Kerbal Space Program here. Let me find their stuff, because it's the Orca computer people, Seattle built PCs. Um, they were awesome. They were just like, hey, we know you want to play Kerbal, we build PCs. Are you interested in a PC? And I said, yes. <laughs> so full disclosure. This has been, this was sent to me, the, the actual PC was sent to me. And uh, I'm forever grateful. Uh, some experiments must be run by a Kerbal on EVA. Should we let him go out quick? Can I EV, could I have EVA'd out in space? Clicking it. This part's still a little confusing to me. Okay, well. Let's just get out of here. Cover vessel. Really? Destin has a video of their building? That's cool. Cool. Well, I'm happy with this so far. Um, so far, the I have not seen any wobbles in any rockets yet. Whether or not that means it's totally fixed, I don't know. I have not observed it, which is great. Okay, so we have 175 sciences. Is, is. Let's do moon landing stuff, because I want to get out to the moon ASAP. So this is going to give us a lander can, larger fuel tank, and some landing legs. 
also add RCS. This will be great for landing on the moon too. And some power management would probably be great. But what are small payloads? Uh, I think power management. Okay. Let's get back to mission control. Oh yeah, I didn't even submit these. And orbit curve and submit. Okay, so actually, yeah, we do have a little bit more science to spend. Um, research. I'm not so interested in small things. I wanna, I wanna be doing big things. I wanna go to the moon. I still wish they had a separate monoprop engine that wasn't that was center aligned. Why are all the, the engines like attached to the outside? The aircraft stuff is fun. We might do that. Well, that's cool. I didn't realize they did a ton of PC hardware benchmarking. Yeah, I'm. I was so thankful. I mean, they sent me a heck of a machine. It's loaded out. Should we do this? I like aircraft, aircraft are fun, and... And docking, let's get a docking port. All right. Not revert, we just want vehicle assembly building. Wait, what was our next, shoot, what was our next mission? Moon or bust, yes. An orbit around the moon. Orbit. Some of the goos dumped into something something. Attach a science junior to a vessel and perform an environmental survey on Kerman. Okay, that's easy. Spacewalking. Uh, EVA wall in Kerman orbit. Okay. All right, let's do it. Where's Uncle Dad? He was actually over here last night, and uh, I actually said, dude, you should pop on in. However, alas, the, the gentleman is quite busy. You know what? These cockpits actually have pretty high heat tolerance. Should I try landing this on the moon? Just because it would look cool? It always looks like the front of a Harrier to me, which is about the coolest thing you can do. <laughs> Hmm. Should I make this harder on myself? What do we have for small engines? Like, do we have radial attached engines? Not really. That's true. The research utilization. Okay. Ah! I'm so conflicted right now. Do we send, like, a... Why am I making this hard on myself? Why am I making this hard on myself? Should I just land a normal... A normal thing? Do we have like... Um, we have to do two probes though, we don't have two people. And we're not even supposed to, we're not even supposed to land on the moon yet, we're just supposed to orbit the moon. So why don't I keep it simple, stupid? That's radial atta attached. We got that, we got this. Uh-oh, we're back to our basic colors now. Um, is it better? Is Kerbal better right now? I mean, it's to the point of getting, like, this is finally way closer to on parity with the OG. Science. 
We still only have the one science thing. Let's go ahead and do a monoprop tank with some RCS. That always makes things easier. And we'll do Okay. There's our main beast. I mean, it genuinely so far, I, I've said this a few times, so sorry if you're hearing the same thing over and over, but this is the game that sh probably should have been released at the beginning. I know that they, I feel bad for them because it was a total win if, you know, lose-lose. Like, people were, you know, crying and complaining that why isn't it out yet? You promised this forever ago and they knew it wasn't ready, so they just released something and they're like, here, help, okay, you help us find bugs and get feedback if you... If you want it so bad, they were, I feel like their hands were tied. They're like, okay, just go ahead. You guys can, you can have it. And you know, it was not really ready yet. Um, whoa. Hey, what's the difference between, oh, that's for jets, okay. Okay, this thing's gonna be a lot taller. We're just gonna keep this simple. We're gonna use the gimbling ones. And we'll use four of these. And then Okay, just building something simple. We don't have uh, fuel thingies yet, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna start with the four. We're gonna throw on some stabilizers now. We can make these a little bit longer. Oh no, wrong thing. Okay, better. No, so far the update has been great. We've had no problems. So far, so good. Quite pleased, quite happy. I feel like I'm gonna have to say that a lot because the initial consensus for everyone is that is probably still crap. But the opinion could change. We'll see if it continues to run smooth and if we continue to have fun, great. So I forget, can we actually see our thrust to weight ratio and stuff? Destination, trip estimator. 3,400 for that. From here to noon. But that's one way. Moon intercept, 800. Okay. Oh, that's for surface. Okay, so if we're just orbiting the moon, I think we're fine. Uh, Fearless Joe, you don't need to be a, yeah, you do need to be a subscriber as well. We do that for bot prevention. You don't have to be like a member or anything. We just are, YouTube's best tool to fight bots is, is actually just make sure that you're a subscriber for at least a minute. So yes, you are good to go. You are good to go. Okay, we, we ready to, uh, to launch this thing? All right. 
Uh, it thinks return to low carbon orbit. Uh, when you select, oh, return to mission. Does it? It does, wait. Round trip. You're right, round trip does think. That's funny that you're gonna have to slow all the way down. Okay, so we won't use that. It shows thrust to weight ratio here. Oh, cool. Yeah, right there. The top thing thrust to weight. Awesome. That's perfect. 1.3. I'm happy with that. I do want to color this a little bit better. I don't love the um, restore agency colors. Part. Let's make the core of this thing match our agency colors at least. All right, cool. I'm happy. It's fine. I want the boosters. I'm basically using the center engine as a sustainer engine. All right. Well, we're gonna, oh sweet, There's. I was just about to say, man, that's all, I didn't know that. When did they add like lights like that? Okay, that's awesome. That looks so cool. Okay, Kerbal, you're kind of winning me over. All right, here we go, we better just do this, huh? We can already do some science. Eh. I don't know. Who cares? Uh, wait. Let's wait till the next song. So we're not just... So we're not just, you know, doing nothing here. Oh, sorry. It looks like I might have missed... Might have missed some of your guys' chats and stuff. I had, We had some support here. Thank you so far. So, Citizen Battle. Speaking of early access, plans on playing any Star Citizen. I've never played Star Citizen. I just really like... Hard science games? I don't know if Star Citizen is. Does it support Space Mouse? I don't know either on that. But we're gonna launch right in now in three, two, one. That's perfect. Come on, right? That's perfect. You can't say this game's not beautiful. Look at this. I'm kind of blown away, actually. This is great. As someone who played Kerbal since 2013, 10 years later, this is finally a legitimate update. Look at that. Right at sunset. We better start our gravity turn here a little bit. <laughs> nah. We don't really block anybody here. You're free to share your opinion. If, if you think the, uh, the the Kraken will never get fixed. The Kraken Kraken, I never remember. This well, That's one of those words. Kraken and Kraken. I think it's Kraken actually, right? Not Kraken. I don't remember. Anyway, the point is, I think it will. Seems like so far this is already great. Kraken, thank you. Simon, I'm great, how are you? Um, there are some bigger boosters, we just haven't unlocked the tech tree for them yet. Kraken, crack, 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 and crack. It. All right, um, I'm gonna do my infamous way of stage separating, which is <clears throat> just introduce a little spin. So fling the, the boosters clear without worrying about them hitting us. See? Beautiful. Now... There we go. Canceled out our roll. Plenty high apoapsis. <laughs> this is great. Where do they land? The boosters are, so because we were go flying horizontally, you can see the boosters will land uh, somewhere, uh, I don't think we have persistent debris 
Or is that the... No, that's... They're gonna land basically, like, here-ish. In the middle of the ocean. This is... excellent. And just so you... just so you guys know, because I know people are probably gonna be like, Ooh. Uh, there's no, uh, collaboration here with the developers of KSP. These opinions are all my own. I'm playing this for the first time. I did get early access to the download by about two hours, because I, I, I wanted to make sure that we had this ready at noon. So they, the developers did have a, an early access key for me. That's it. They didn't tell me to say or do or even to play this. This is purely, oh, I'm playing this purely because I'm excited to play it, so. Um, we're gonna be short on Delta V, aren't we? I didn't even see where the moon's at. And we just started <laughs> flinging this thing. <laughs> Set as target, okay, where are we at right now? Wait, okay. So where's the moon? Oh, we kinda... This isn't great. I don't think I built a big enough rocket. So it's saying we only have 1,500 meters per second left. And ideally, oh yeah, let me speed this up. Let me raise our orbit enough that we don't re-enter. Okay. So like I said, we're just gonna slightly put this thing into lunar orbit first. Okay, we're in, we're in, not, did I say curb, curb in orbit? And our crate maneuver point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be something like this. Uh, moon periapsis is... Five hundred seventy-one thousand. Let's get that thing down to like, oopsies. One fifty. There we go. So. Hmm. Eight fifty is what we need for a moon intercept. We do have a bunch of monoprop that we could also use to help deorbit from the moon. But we do need to get into, so we have 520 meters per second. We also, yeah, we're, we're good. Right, right guys? <laughs> right? Hopefully this does what I think it's gonna do. Oh, perfect. And then how do I go to the target? Burn in 30 seconds. All right, this is the target, right? Yep, that looks exactly right. Okay, burn in 10 seconds, guys. Let's gonna line up with the music. Our transluter injection, you are go for TLI. In three, two, one, go. Are you kidding me? That was like exactly with the music. Like, <laughs> that was sick. I couldn't have done that any better if I tried. That's amazing. All right, go for TLI, I love it. And we're almost done with our burn. Three, two, one, stop. Oh, I think we're currently intercepting the moon. There we go. 
I'm using just a tiny bit of RCS. It just absolutely perfect. Is this the throwaway thing? 150 on the freaking nose. I am good. We got a little bit of residual prop here in this thing. I'm just going to ditch that booster though. And here we go. And three, two, one, go. This is, this is lining it up way, way too good with the music. <laughs> yeah, I overburned my apoapsis. I am so sorry. We are on our way to the moon though, my friends. All right, we do have some science we can collect here. Sure. All right, let's get ourselves out to here. I want to be careful and time warp. Well, I'm just going to do it manually. I don't, I'm not familiar enough with these controls to do that for sure without totally messing it up. For some reason, these, I do really like where it shows how you're going to intercept with the sphere of influence of the moon. But for some reason, those little things kind of remind me of the guy from Saw. The eyes on that little doll from Saw. The, like, horror movies. <laughs> no, Sky, this is not pre-recorded. It seems like it. I know it seems like it. With my beautiful, beautiful moves. Jigsaw, yes, yes. Alright, let's go ahead and time warp to here. This is our lowest point in our on our flyby of the moon. We're not in lunar orbit yet. Alright, so now we can just go retrograde. We're gonna face opposite our direction of travel. Whoa, it's a total eclipse of Earth or Kerbin. That's sick. Where is the moon? It's so dark I can't even see it. This is my biggest fear with Deer Moon is that we fly do a flyby of the moon and it's like a perfectly a perfect new moon and we can't even see the moon hardly. Oh god, what, what am I doing? Was I accidentally just holding something down? I can't even see the moon. I think it's this blob right below me. Alright, we're going to go ahead and... This is, again is lining up with the music. Um, I don't think my engine's active. I'm a little afraid to hit the thing again. Okay, this is the safest way to do it. If I had lined that up with the music, then you could have guessed that I was pre You could have accused me of being pre-recorded. All right, so we are officially in lunar orbit, but what was the parameters of this? Samples. What, where was the mission? I forget, like the mission control thing. Um. Uh, where's the thing that says what my parameters are for, that I had to achieve for the lunar orbit? I'll, 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 I will EVA. That's a good idea. <laughs> are, do people actually think this is pre-recorded? That's hilarious. That I'm just live streaming a pre-recording. Uh, it's just a flyby for Dear Moon. For Dear Moon. The light bulb. I think that's literally just lights. Um, mission tracker. Oh, 2,400 kilometers and greater than 60. That's the easiest lunar <laughs> orbit ever. 
We're not even gonna do a full orbit of the moon. There we go, look at, there's the moon. That is, <laughs> guys, I swear I'm not like trying to hype this game up any, like, or anything. I'm just genuinely excited. That's so beautiful. Okay, let's do an EVA. Um, oh wait, I go up to the curb end to do that. EVA, buddy, yes. My vehicle is not out of fuel. Don't worry, lady. Okay, I'm just gonna go back in, doing a daring EVA. <laughs> Look at my curl. Doing a daring EVA. I wanna do this on Deer Moon. I would love to be the pilot on Deer Moon. I would love to, gen like, I would love to train more and spend more energy and time learning how to properly fly a spacecraft. So I'm gonna try and do this efficiently. What I'm gonna do, if I speed back up, it's going to break our orbit around the moon. We're technically not even gonna orbit the moon just to make this really easy on ourselves. And then if I do this, ah, uh, this is the wrong place to do it. Wrong place to do it, okay. So instead, I want to make a maneuver node. Let's see here. We want to do it. We're going this way. We want to do it up here, I think. Right? Or is that still. Oh, that's the wrong way. Okay. What about. Yeah. Okay, that sends us out of the whole thing. <laughs> ah. Somewhere here we can lower our periapsis. Like my first time at the moon or something. Sorry, mun. Um. Yeah, if we burn prograde at Apwaps, this is. I don't think that's really gonna. Well. See, our Kerbin periaps. This is. Slightly raising there. See, that ain't good. Well, worst case, I'll do. Worst case, I'll do this in two burns. I'll, I'll do it. I'll get out of lunar orbit and then do a separate maneuver. I think since we're in such an elliptical orbit right now. Yeah, we have plenty of Delta V. We have plenty of Delta V. Um. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we are in a counterclockwise orbit around the moon. So if we like totally reverse course. Okay, screw this, screw this, screw this. I'm going to, I'm going to first just get out of lunar orbit. Like this. And then we have a really high apoapsis, which is actually a good thing, because then it will take very little energy to actually slow down to the moon. Or slow down back to Kerbin. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. I'm just gonna do that now without even this maneuver node. I'm just gonna speed up until we get into Kerbin orbit. All right, so I'm gonna point prograde, which is forward. So we're facing our direction of travel forward. And let's speed up now until we break our orbit around the moon. 
There we go. Now we can just go up to our Apoapsis here. So that's Earth, or sorry, Kerbin, Apoapsis. So now we're going to be in orbit back around Kerbin, our home planet. So I'm just going to speed up here. You'll see that we're going to leave the moon's sphere of influence at the uh, thing that looks like that guy from that movie, whatever we said his name was. I will come in fast, but I can also slow down. I'll just barely skim the atmosphere now that we have atmospheric re-entry heating and stuff. We... I mean, this isn't going to be too fast. We, we've come, you know, you can come back in from interplanetary as long as you have a heat shield and stuff. Create a maneuver point. Let's just see how much delta V is going to take. We're going to slow down up here. And we'll just barely skim, like, we'll, like, 60 or, like, 55,000 or something for our periapsis. That'll get us into the atmosphere. Something like... Ah, oopsies. Went a little bit too far. There we go. What is this? We'll just get up there until our periapsis is low. That's only 200 meters per second. We've got plenty of propellant left. Okay. Um... How do I... Oh yeah, warp to here. Okay. No, just... Oh, we'll, we'll play around with it. We'll lower low enough to, to slow down enough. And we will... I'm gonna delete this though, I just wanna do this manually. We'll go slow enough to get back into... Um, the atmosphere, but not so fast that it we overheat. I'll do like 50, I'll do 50,000. All right. Here we go. And three, two, one, let's go. Oopsies. <laughs> it changed it so you can't do two key bindings. Normally I have throttle bound twice on the keyboard so I can use left or right hand for it. And it's throwing me off. Okay, we're getting down to... Let's do 50. Just a little touch of RCS. There we go. Quick save, M. Let's fly this baby back in. I will slow down once we get there too, just to bleed off. Oh, look how high up we are. Yeah. All right, so I will, I will, um, slow down once we get back down just to make sure we're safe with this new re-entry heating I don't know how it's gonna handle it huh we're going to re-encounter the moon again at this point if we if we didn't slow down from the atmosphere which we will Yeah, I actually hope that 50 is enough. I'm nervous that 50 is not quite going to be enough. Oh god. Full throttle. Oh, look at that. No big deal. We'll just use up all of our... All of our propellant. There we go. Decouple. couple. <laughs> can't click like because I can't find my pointer. My mouse is distracting. I'm so sorry. What's up, Forge Gamer? How is KSP2 better than KSP1 with mods so far? I don't know. But it's built on an entirely different physics everything. 
It has a lot more potential to do things that were just physically impossible with KSP1. So we'll see. It has a lot of potential. I do think the gameplay, the sounds, the things are getting fantastic now, finally. Um, so far, it's been great. All right, you will see. Hopefully, we're going to be able to slow down enough because we did just ditch our service module. And we're not slowing down that much. This might be a multi-pass. Where's our vertical speed indicator? That's one thing I liked seeing a little bit bigger before. Yep, this is going to be a multi-pass, so you guys are right. <laughs> Ask Jared Isaacman to show us pictures of the EVA suits for Christmas, that'd be awesome. That little tiny thing's your vertical speed indicator? I want a number on it though. I wish it was a lot bigger. I thought that was a trim indicator. I think it might be both. No, that's showing your control. Just so I'm not wasting any monoprop. Can we? I forget. It does not appear we can do any monoprop. Okay, I'm just gonna fly up to our apoapsis. This is gonna be a multi-pass situation. All right. The side of the thing. Oh, I thought that was, wait. I thought that was a G indicator. Um. No, I don't want to turn it pro-grade while re-entering the atmosphere. <laughs> what? It might do it on this pass here. We're scrubbing off quite a bit of speed now. There we go. Yep. We're in. We're in. I don't know where our atmospheric re-entry went. The G indicator, oh, G indicator's up there. Oh. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, vertical speed indicator is this bar here then. That's good to know. And then G meter is up at the, that makes sense, thank you. So G meter's up here by the Kerbal. Vertical speed indicator is this bar down in the nav bar. Thank you guys for pointing that out. Okay, I have no idea where I'm re-entering and I should probably pay attention. I don't know if we're splashing down. <laughs> it's so dark. Uh-oh, this looks potentially a bit mountainous. I'm the same, Michael. So far, Michael's only heard good things about this update. I haven't, the only, my only complaint is I, the re-entry effects look, um, don't look amazing in my opinion, but I'm happy they're there. I'm happy this, the physics is there for re-entry heating. Um, yeah, so far everything's actually been fantastic. I don't want to turn on the lights. Are the lights on inside my little thing? I better deploy the next shoot. I feel like this is a little too mountainous. Okay, good. Yeah, we might be landing on some terrain. So far, I haven't had any problems with the Kraken. At all. You've, you mentioned that a few times. Last, last is low. 
Oh, I like to keep my uh, my drogue shoe open because why not? All right, let's make. Hopefully, we're not landing uh, <laughs> on the side of a mountain. It definitely is mountainous. It's definitely mountainous. This is my greatest fear. Is landing on the side of a mountain. Oh god. Oh god. I don't know if you guys can even see that. It's really, really dark for me. Please, buddy. Please be okay. Find a nice little... Oh god, that's a huge cliff over there. Yes! Oh, it's like... Just a little bit more and it had a huge risk of rolling down the mountain. I think that actually happened with a Soyuz once and it caught a tree. Oh man. Alright, let's let's recover this thing now before we Oh John. Thank you. You didn't have to do that. I appreciate that. Thank you. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, all of the fun things. I appreciate that. Okay, I do want to just time warp to the next morning. Because I like it when it's... Isn't there an auto warp to the morning? Good enough. Alright. We're making progress, guys. We're making progress. Let's submit this these sciences. Submit. Hundred and fifty science points, excellent. Twenty five science points. Uh Did I do this? I haven't done this yet. Wait. To, for a strut to keep our astronauts attached to the weight. Okay, I did not do that. First dibs, track this mission. Wants you to make an action figure of a Kerbal holding a KSC flag. <laughs> Wait, they want to make a Kerbal holding a flag on the moon? So, <laughs> we need to land on a mare, one of the moon's smooth, dark lowlands, and plant a flag so they can have a reference photo. Seems legitimate. Okay. Uh, periapsis Rocket Supplies is suing us for using their company name. We explained that every orbit has a periapsis and that it's not copyright infringement, but their lawyers think otherwise. They argue that if we can make our orbit a perfect circle, we can just have one big apoapsis and leave periapsis out of it. Our legal apartment needs our help. Make a circle and tell us what happens. Okay, so we need to uh, establish an orbit around Kerbin with an apoapsis and periapsis, each between 99 and 101. Okay, that's actually gonna be difficult to do, like, especially in the middle of like a moon mission or something, but we might as well track it. All right, so. All right, we're gonna land on the moon. First, we're gonna go to R&D. Mono propellant drives, not that necessary. Do we need any trusses? No, I don't care about trusses. Let's do some power launches. High powered stuff. Bigger tanks. Tier two is unlocked. Oh, baby. Okay, how do I go back to tier one though? <laughs> okay, like this. This just keeps going. I didn't. Oh, I did not realize that. I thought I was like, oh, great, we're almost done. Okay, we got a long ways to go. 230 for medium orbit rockets. So let's just do. Um, we can do that, and we can do this monoprop drive. And. 
We have 30 left. Fine, we'll do the basic trusses, but I don't even care about them. I don't care. Cool. VAB, baby. I don't love that I'm tempted to revert to VAB. All right. Well, guys, it's looking good. It's we're, we're doing great things here. How are you guys doing? You guys hanging in there? Hit me with any questions. I might take a little bit of a break at some point. Um, nah, I'm fine. I'll keep going. I just want to get... I want to at least like get to Duna today. That'd be awesome. If I can unlock enough tech to do a Duna mission, I'd be very happy. Duna is their equivalent of um, of Mars. So I'm gonna do a direct descent. All right, heat shield again. All right, we have what it's gonna take to re-enter. Decouple. We'll do science again. So I wonder what the difference is. Honestly, I don't think we're gonna, I mean, yeah, we can save some mass. Whoa, a lot of mass, it's 20 times lighter. Where can we put that? that? Is that right? 20 times? Wow. And it can handle a thousand? <laughs> uh, well, I guess. Uh, let's see. I have played Juno a little tiny, tiny bit. Not not enough to have a really strong opinion about it. I do love the way these are organized by size, finally. That just makes so much sense. Small, medium, extra small, small. I actually love that. Okay, so we're working on the lunar lander now. The way that I've always done this in Curl, to make it easy on myself, to make sure I don't run out of stuff, is by putting landing legs on everything. <laughs> I know that sounds <laughs> really dumb, and it is. But I'll put landing legs on this in case this is the stage that gets us to the moon. Oh yeah. I'm actually gonna raise those up a little bit. I think that's, there we go. Leg extended, okay. Yeah, but I like having lots of RCS. We'll be fine. So here's what I do. The way I do this, just to, like, this is just the total overkill way of doing things. I'm gonna, since we don't even have, I don't even think we have, um, yeah, we don't have, like, fuel, inline fuel yet. So we're just gonna do four, we're gonna, we're gonna pretend, well not pretend, because <laughs> we have no idea. We're going to, oh, I don't want the whole thing, I just want the part, I wanna start changing colors. We don't know, and I'm too lazy to add it up, we don't know how much fuel, oh, I accidentally attached those, that's not the worst thing. Um, we're going to assume that we don't know which part of this rocket's going to land on the moon. <laughs> So therefore, we're gonna put, we're gonna over-engineer this, and I'm not gonna do the delta V math to figure it out. We're just gonna, oh, but I do wanna be able to get out and walk around. We'll just fly, we'll use our jetpack. Okay, simple. That's 3,000 meters per second. I think that's absolutely plenty. <laughs> yeah, this is about as Kerbal as it gets. <coughs> Excuse me. This way, who cares? So 
how do we taper up to these medium ones? Oh, there is a ladder. <laughs> Where we're going, we don't need a ladder. There we go. Ooh, I don't like the way that looks. Maybe we'll use these struts, the things that we unlocked after all. Some trusses. Truss adapters, tubes. Whoa, that's a small truss. Uh... That's small. Uh, I do not consider that small. What the heck? Yeah, that's... Dang. <coughs> you know what we can do? Gonna be really cheap about this. Looks like we borked our all of that stuff. Um So what I was thinking we can do, we'll just have these floating. And we'll clean, you know, the, that's what the struts are for, right, guys? Right? Whatever, good enough. Uh, reminds me of Half Life. Uh, no, I have not ever played Half Life. Still clipping a little bit. All right, well. <laughs> Never mind that huge gap held by a single little strut. You know what? We'll just make it look more, more or less dumb. Like this. We go. That looks more or less dumb, right, guys? At least a little bit. That one's a little offset and wonky. Wait, which one's offset and wonky? I can't even tell. Everything's offset and wonky. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I think we can still open this crew hatch and we'll just fly down with the thing. The jetpack. Now we can use all medium sized tanks. Which are tiny. <laughs> we have like the smallest, shortest ones. Alright. I don't even know what medium engine we have. Just this. The skipper. <coughs> <coughs> Which is fine. 6,000 meters per second. I mean, we're going to have... Delta V for days here, guys. <coughs> Do we have enough thrust to lift off, though? Or is it right here? No. No, we do not. So, what we should do... Double these. I kind of want these to be all orange, by the way. Is there a way to, like, match? Does anyone know if there's a way to match these? No, I don't see. 
Um, <coughs> Good enough. Okay. This is a dumb looking rocket, and I love it. So our thrust weight ratio is going to be real low. Like, wait, why did it go up? Uh, <laughs> what? <coughs> okay, well, still low. So what we're gonna do? I mean, obviously still low. That's what I expected that time. Wait, why didn't I use these decouplers up here? Then it would have looked way more natural. I am dumb. <laughs> Stupid. Alright. Here's what we're going to do. These are going to be white. Aerodynamic nose cones. Ta-da. Yep, this is about as dumb of a rocket as you can build. Okay. There we go. Oops, I have these slightly offset. My bad. Okay. Hopefully that's enough. And I'll just spin to decouple them. 8,000 meters per second. I think we are fine for what we're trying to do. And we have high enough thrust away range. Oh, pff, yeah. We can throttle down, actually. All right, we ready? <laughs> Laszlo, sorry that I missed your uh, your comment. You did not need to s send me a tip for putting up with your quote unquote uh, cracking complaints. <laughs> but thank you. I do appreciate that. That is funny though. Oh, that's funny. I need to put this. I have. I'm running two different computers, like I said. It's a bit of a Confusing nightmare. All right, here we go. Let's get this thing out to the launch pad. Uh, should I probably should do clamps. We're a professional space program around here. We use clamps and we let the rocket stay. <laughs> We're starting closer to space. Uh, for those of you wondering if that's a joke or not, I did make a really deep dive video on why we don't launch rockets from mountains. Um or the equator, and the answer is really, you don't actually gain that much performance um, by altitude. Your velocity is really what matters. But this is Kerbal Space Program, so we are <laughs> going to take all the height advantage we can get. <laughs> uh, Tyler, no, the, the, the game has gotten substantially better performing for all computers. I've seen people playing this on on 10 series and definitely 20s. Uh, 
Uh, underground, yeah, if you're a creator, make, I, I make it so you don't get copyright striked, feel free to use my music. Just put some, uh, put some love in the video in the description and feel free to use it. I, I want to make sure that people don't get copyright striked when they use my music, so it is yours. Alright, here we go. I should have timed it with that last song. Three, two, one, let's go. Is the game fun now? I've been having a great time, honestly. So far, this has been fantastic. It looks beautiful, feels beautiful. I'm actually gonna throttle down my main engines because I just would like to try to preserve some of that fuel. Since we have plenty of thrust, I think. Oh, we're not actually... Dang, that actually looks really sick. Clouds have made a huge improvement. Yeah, this is getting... This is properly getting good, in my opinion. We're coming up on stage separation of the booster, so I'm going to throttle back up. Now they're both most of the atmosphere, and I'm going to start our spin. The Tim Dodd TM trademarked uh, spin separation. Oh god, oh god. Now that we lost those fins, though, we did lose some aerodynamic stability, and we're still low enough in the atmosphere that that did make a pretty big difference. Now, do we have enough thrust to keep accelerating? Yes, we do. That was my ner that was my fear, is that we actually had too low of a thrust to weight ratio at, at stage separation. But, we're doing good. And by good, I mean we're doing decent. We're actually... Not climbing very well. I want to make sure we're staying at a 45 here. Okay, this actually isn't. Yeah, these are not the right engines. Well, these ones actually don't take a huge hit. At these are not full blown like poodle engines. They aren't as horrible at sea level as some other engines. But we're doing fine. Should we try and do that Kerbal EVA thing with like 100, 100 by 100? Or but we might as well. Okay, coming up on no ap apoapsis of. I'm just going to cut it right at 100, basically, and coast up to it, and circularize. That, that's the easiest way to do it. <laughs> when I go up on a rocket, flight beans had better be off the menu. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, maybe they need, a, if they need extra methane, you know. Liquefy some, liquefy some uh, human, I almost said excrement, but I don't think that's the word we're looking for. All right, we have, we get a coast for two minutes. We're going to, coast up to our apoapsis, our high point. We aim to pro-grade, pro-grade. All right, we're at 100, 100 kilometers and 312 meters of extraness. And now we're going to start speeding up because it's going to take us a little bit to actually hard. 
Um, because... Okay, so if I just lower my thrust, we'll probably be fine. Are we sinking right now? So yeah, so if we're sinking, we have to be above the horizon. Crap. We're actually too high. So yeah, if we're sinking, which is what we're doing, we should do this to, no, maybe we still go down. Nope, that also raises it. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna get our periapsis then to 100 and then we're gonna go back and just fix our apoapsis. Oh, the problem is I think we're closer to our periapsis than our apoapsis right now. Crap! Yeah, we're closer to our periapsis than our apoapsis. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna fly up to our periapsis. We're gonna turn around. Oh god. Wrong button. go 99 5 that's good enough I'll actually raise it up to a hundred basically using RCS then we'll get over to that point and we will raise it again and 100 and 100,000 and three meters I'd say that's pretty darn circular well could be circular once we circularize <laughs> So now we're going to coast up to that point. This would be so much easier if I just ditched the tanks. Those little RCS thrusters would have a lot more. They'd be doing a lot more. Okay. Here we go. All right. So, return to Michigan Control to submit. We we got that. We're at a 99,600 meter orbit by 100,052. Cool. No, we're doing moon this time too. We've got enough delta V to do it. Uh, sweet. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I understand uh, John Harson saying interstellar travel base construction is, you know, something that is hopefully going to be uh, an eventual thing for Kerbal Space Program 2. I understand where you, you know... Say, in a year later, we just get basic science like we did in point zero one four of the original game. And then, yeah, saying, like, you know, that they're, I don't know. <sighs> then saying, like, oh, they're professionals. I don't know if you've ever worked on a really, really, really big project. I have. I spent two years doing a video on uh, Soviet rocket engines that I thought was going to take me, like, three months. Sometimes good things just take a long time. Honestly, I mean, I... I, I have all the patience in the world, though. I understand. Like, I don't care. Like, I don't have anything to lose if this game takes them a long time. I, don't, I just don't, I don't get that attitude of, like, almost like an entitlement. I understand when you pay $50 for a game, you want it to be complete. Although, they never said it was complete. That's the thing. They're like, here, you guys really want access to this thing that we've been working on. 
You're begging us. Here you go. They finally gave us access to a work in progress. Yes, it's later than anyone wanted. But who cares? Like, I don't know. I just don't... I don't know. I'm just not... bothered by that kind of stuff, so... Um... All right, we better do some science. All right, let's get out to the moon again. So for this, we want to be 90 degrees to the moon. About right here-ish. Create a maneuver plan. Accelerate from here. Probably have to back it off a little bit, like that. And we want to just get this nice and low. Our moon periapsis, nice, 37,000 meters. That's nice and close. Going the right way around, I think, this time. I don't think we're going to be going counterclockwise. All right, let's just go ahead and fast forward to that part. That's gonna be an 800 meters per second burn, which I think we have plenty even in this stage of tanks. Okay, point at the moon, turn RCS back on. I, I don't know. I guess you can have two ways to think about something. You can either think there there's a hard-working group of honest people trying to build a game, and it's been very hard and difficult, and they're trying their best, and they wanted to get something out there so they could continue funding it and make sure that it makes it to completion. Or you can think that they're, like, intentionally incompetent and just sitting around twiddling their thumbs for years doing nothing. I'm personally in the boat that I don't think that they were doing anything. Um, oh, start burn. I should have started my burn a while ago. But I'm personally in the boat of thinking that they aren't doing anything malicious. <laughs> um, that they're just trying. I'm going to have this just hold prograde at this point. We'll be close enough. Uh, we're going to probably just do this manually now. It looks like we... Screwed up our timer, our this thing a little bit here. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to ditch our boosters, even though we have a ton of Delta V left in them. I have a hard time knowing, like, I'm afraid to click this again. I'm going to hit F5. Because I don't know, like, it looks like the stage is activated. But it's not, so I'm going to hit it again. How do you know that now it's active? That's one thing I do not quite understand. Okay, so... Are we accidentally doing that thing again where we're... Can we get us away from... Okay, so we aren't quite yet to a good... Oh, we're going the wrong way. We're going the wrong way. Wrong button, wrong button. I still am not good at this on a PC. Oh, yeah. I don't know why my... Wait, what? <laughs> did I just do a full 360 and wasn't paying any attention? Yes, I did. My bad.
So we're gonna go, I think we actually went all the way through. There we go, there we go, there we go. Now we should be on the correct side of it. Okay. Nice and low lunar orbit. No, this song is not Cryo. This is a uh, translunar coast. But thank you for being excited that there's music. Okay, we are. Oh, oh. Good. That happened quick. Uh, there we go. Let's slow down. Let's slow down. There we go. We are now orbiting the moon. And we're just going to go straight down to the surface. Wait, aren't we supposed to land in like a dark area? Is that something it said? In that case, let's just go straight down here. <laughs> We have Delta V for weeks. Is that what our thing was? Where's our mission thing? So again, I mission tracker land on the surface of the moon. Secondary perfect circle. Yeah, I thought I had other ones like landing in a dark area of the moon. I don't know. I'll just focus on flying it. Should put lights in this thing. I'm gonna save some monoprop. Well, let's get down to the surface. We do have a decent amount of velocity to scrub off, so I'm going to start doing exactly that. Not the most efficient way to doing this, actually. Let me just make sure we've got like a ton of thrust. Yeah, we do. Okay. So we're 17,000 meters off the ground, 17 kilometers. Hey, yeah, moon dance for moon landing. Let's speed it up a little bit here. I'll start kind of burning around 5,000. A quick save here just to make sure. Dang, that looks good. That looks actually really, really good. Start burning some velocity off here. You can't say that doesn't look actually phenomenal. Dang. Uh, bug reports, I think, I don't know. I think a lot of people are still doing the Discord channel. Looks okay. I think that looks borderline photorealistic. Okay, I accidentally stopped. My throttles are still in, I'm so used to flying right-handed throttle now. I'm trying to do everything left-handed. This keyboard is so touchy too. Twenty five hundred meters per second, or it's twenty five hundred meters, flying at fifty meters per second. We have a ton of delta v between this stage and the next stage, so I might just be nice and conservative about this. My specs for this, I am loaded out. I'm decked out on this computer. 4090. 
the whole shebang, but my understanding is that it can now play on almost anything these days. Um, at least any, like, I've, I've heard of people playing it now with decent frame rates on a 10, 1080 even. Yeah, I, you, got, you guys probably aren't seeing nearly as, as, uh, as much good stuff, as much goodness as I am. It looks really quite great here. I'm only playing this in 1080. I playing it on 4K looks incredible. Okay, we just gotta make sure I don't. Wait, do I really have it set to? I can't. That's bad. Glad I caught that. Or wait, am I just on regular? You can always do this. So I like to look at my shadow. That's one trick, is land, looking at your shadow while you land gives you a really good sense of how high you are off the ground. So we're still at seven meters per second. Again, I'm doing this very conservatively. Eight percent throttle is too much. Actually, that's crazy. We're doing impulse landings, like we're just having to very slowly do impulses. Oh, that looks so freaking awesome! Yes. These landing struts are a little bit, well, I've got a, maybe a little clearance, maybe I don't. Landing on the nozzles, just like Apollo uh, 16, is that what it was, 15? Sweet. Okay, let's do this before we forget. Now I gotta do an EVA, quick saving. Sweet. Oh, Chazzy Mac, I didn't even see this. I'm sorry, I hope you're still here. <laughs> Thank you, Chazzy Mac. I appreciate the generosity. Thank you so much. Sweet. Well, let's EVA. Houston, we have touchdown. Darn right. <laughs> Frank and Barry's the OG. <laughs> Nice. All right, let's EVA. Let's do another EVA or uh, experiment report here. How do I turn on my jetpack? Is it R? Yes, it is. Oh God. All right, didn't even didn't even die. How do I turn on the lights now? Oh, that's funny. Doing a little. Uh oh. Invalid region? It was because I was moving around during that. I think there are lights. Lights are right there on the helmet. Nightbot. No, we're not looking for a comprehensive mission of <laughs> the last Rocket Lab launch. Naughty robot. All right, hopefully this counts. Now let's plant a flag. Site name. The pants place. 
Thank you to all of you who are watching me. I was going to play this today anyway because We're all out of electrical charge in our thing. <laughs> because I was excited for this update. Okay, well, good enough. Um, I did forget to put... Um, I very much did <laughs> forget to add solar panels to this thing. But hopefully once the Kerbal's in there, it won't need any more electrical charge. I want to see this flag. That looks sick. Yep, no solar. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a quick restroom break. You guys don't go anywhere. And uh, enjoy some music. I don't know. I'll be right back. I'm going to answer a few urgent text messages too. So give me just one second. I'll be back in like two or three minutes. I'll leave you with some music and a beautiful view of the moon. All right. Be right back. And I'm back. Okay, so we gotta get back in the vehicle and get home. And then keep seeing how far we can go. <clears throat> How's everybody doing? The game is 20% off. I didn't know that. I, again, this is completely, everything I'm doing here is my own opinion, my own genuine reactions and experiences with the game. This is Kerbal Space Program 2. It's been out for uh, technically, what, like eight months? And this is the first major update that has been fantastic so far. I have been very happy. I would say if you're waiting for it to be closer to a real gaming experience like KSP1, so far it's been awesome. I've had a great time. I genuinely have been like excited about certain things and it's been all fantastic, so. Um, 
It is still early access, yep. It is still beta, but it's... This is a very good early access, in my opinion. It feels a lot more like what the game should be and should have been this whole time. So I'm, I'm quite pleased. I'm very impressed. Um, I'm having a lot of fun. So I think that's what matters, right? Um, here, let's, let's read. We've got uh, from Craig Johnson. Thank you so much for your, for your chat donation. You should name the flags and chips after randomly chosen channel members, patrons, and super chats. I think many people would like to ride on the Craig <laughs> to the moon and back. You know what, Craig? I like that. I'm going to. Can I? Uh, can I fix my flag? <laughs> can I change my flag? I like the idea of that. The the next. Okay, how about this? Wait, the next. F. Remove flag. Plant flag. This site name is now the Craig. We'll do whoever has the <clears throat> the biggest donation next time we land somewhere. We will name it after you. Thank you for your support, Craig. Now let's get home. Cool. That's always going to be in my career mode now. That's awesome. Thank you for the donation and I like that idea <laughs> that's that's way more fun than me just calling it the pants all right let's get out of here guys how do we do that we're gonna have to fly back up I swear there's a way to turn on lights on the Kerbal right okay well we're just going for it is that not oh god uh oh, 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 back, back, back. Ah, uh, F. B. Boarded. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> Key H. Lights. U. I tried U. I tried U and I. I don't know. All the things. All right. <clears throat> Let's get off of the moon. We'll just get into a lunar orbit and then we'll plot our perfect return home. We could basically, from here, do a direct home by just going straight east more or less we're pretty close to the dead center which would make us slow down that's not bad ha <laughs> look at that debris destroyed debris they have a confirmed now but I remember one time when I was playing the the original I just accidentally completely destroyed it uh, destroyed my mission all right well here we go guys Three, two, one, lift off. Sick. That actually is, come on. If that's not satisfying. That is so cool. Jeez, that first impulse yeeted us up to like 20, 30,000. Our Apple apps is screaming. Why? Why are we... Holy yeet. That just absolutely chucked us. Okay, we're going to circularize then. I don't want to get super far out of whack. This thing has a lot... Way too much thrust to weight ratio right now. Do a circularization burn. Right there. Okay. We're back in lunar orbit. Now let's just get home. Let's do a maneuver plan here. Burning here should bring us right back home. We could maybe do this a little bit more efficiently if we're something like. There we go. Much better. Huh. 
Oh great, now we're... I'm gonna pin the Kerbin periapsis. So like right, we're getting down to 400 there. Three hundred. Let's let's go shallower than we did last time, just so we can like hopefully do this in one pass. Let's go like f thirty-five. There we go. All right, let's do it. And we will go to target. I believe it's just pro grade. Plenty of mono prop left. We have a whole extra tank that we didn't even touch. <laughs> we have plenty of Delta V. It only takes 245 meters per second to get home. So we could almost do that in one impulse from these tanks, but let's do it anyway. Here we go. So we're out of propellant now. Now we can ditch these. Fire this baddie up. Okay. What are we at here? Whoa, 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 whoa. 35,000 on the dot? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> uh, will I be piloting like this uh, on Deer Moon? Yes, I'll just be using a keyboard and some little green men and just flying <laughs> no we won't have any crazy maneuvers like this this is not real planets but it is a scale solar system um oh god oh god oh god Oh god, oh god, flip around, oh god, uh, please, stop, um, oh, uh, uh, I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. Oh god. <laughs> that was close. Let's just say I, uh, time warped a little too much. Oh no, not the mountains again, please not the mountains again, please not the mountains again. <clears throat> this is not looking good for basically not hitting those mountains. We are coming back out. This is going to be a multi-pass again. Gosh. All right. We had the, all the extra Delta V in that tank. We could have done so many things with it. This is that skipping off the atmosphere thing that they were worried with with uh, Apollo 13. As you just don't bleed off enough velocity and you come, you go all the way back around halfway to the moon in this case, you know? And the time was against their side. It's not like you skip off and you go into deep space forever. Like, that's kind of what they made it seem like. Now you're just going to be out there stuck in space. They wouldn't be stuck in space. They just would be, um... They would have run out of resources is the main problem. Why can't I time warp faster? We're at plenty high. There we go. Okay, let's see if this time we're going to be closer to landing in the ocean. Hopefully. Okay. That looks an awful lot like not the ocean. Uh, only one way to find out. What is our... We're still at 30,000 periapsis, so we need to be even lower than that to... Although we didn't do any favors last time by not using our heat shield the whole time. Okay, we're for sure going to re-enter this time. Oh, famous last words. Okay, pretty, pretty flat plane. I'm happy with this. Not bad. Yeah, the re-entry burning animation, I, I understand, will still probably get better.
The parachutes look great, though. I don't know if you can adjust the deployment height on the shoes. Yes, you can. It'd been nice to just lower the main one a little bit so we're not waiting so long. Wow, look at this. Is this morning? Are we in morning or is this evening? That would be... Oh, God. We're... This would be morning. Yes. Because the darkness is to the west. Yeah, this is morning. So... Landing on a beautiful morning. Cool. Hopefully we unlock some bigger, uh, some bigger vessels now so we can do two people. We're landing in a tree basically, careful. <laughs> Sweet, we did it. We did it, we landed on the moon, made it back. So far, we're doing great. We cover this baby. That's great. I'm very happy with this. Again, is there a way to just go mountain time, UT? How do I, can I not fast forward till daylight automatically? Okay. Back to mission control. So now we can do this. Submit it. Oh, we're gonna get so much science for this. Sweet. Oh, this is awesome. Okay. I don't remember actually EVA. I don't really remember. Did we do that? <laughs> okay, apparently we did. Escaping Kerbin. Yep. Oopsies. Oh, we're tracking these. These are our new ones. First dibs. Okay, this is that one. We landed on a dark, smooth spot. Sweet. And then perfect circle we did. Okay. Um, I tried looking at FPS on the screen, but I don't know how. It's definitely not lagging. That's a YouTube thing. There's like zero lag. Mooner signal. Mission control picked up a mysterious signal. Fixed point of the moon. So we need to investigate. Find the surface of the mysterious signal on the moon. Sure. I want to go somewhere else, though. That their ladders may only work within curb and gravity. They've asked you to take one of their gravities outside of the environment to verify its safety. This means flying outside of Kerbin's gravitational sphere of influence and orbiting Kerbal. And orbiting Kerbal. Our sun. Okay, so we got to orbit the sun. Hopefully... The ladder will continue being a ladder so we can all go home. That's hilarious. Okay. Wait, lonely satellite. Orbit Kerbin with a probe core antenna and solar panel. Oh, that'd be easy to do that super fast. It's eccentric. Some of the musicians at Ionic Symphony uh, Protonic Electrons Electronics worry that if the orbit... Does that mean something? I-S-P... Uh, I don't know if that does. Um, okay, 
satellite isn't perfectly circular, that the pitch of the music will go up as the satellite approaches curve and then back down when it heads back out of space. I tried to explain that that's not how the Doppler effect works, but they're very nervous people. Please launch a vehicle in, into the least circular orbit you can manage so you can prove. Okay, so we have to orbit Kerbin with a periapsis of low and an apoapsis of high. Okay, that's easy. We can do that on our way to anywhere. Oh, it only needs to be 300 kilometers. A minimum apoapsis of 300 kilometers. We can do that by accident. All right, let's go uh, to the R&D center. Let's, we have lots of science now. Is there a way to just scroll around? Maybe not. Okay, we're into the big boys now. We are into the big boys. Yes, finally. Bigger capsules, yes. Yes. This is fantastic. Bigger tank. Fuel lines, this is huge. Do they cost 300? We have 500 left. We could do bigger engines. This is a sustainer though. It's the mainsail. Bigger monoprop tank, bigger. That's nice. Fuel lines is nice too. Enhanced electronics is very nice as well. Oh man. So we could basically do like two of these. Like the fuel lines and enhanced electronics. Expanded construction I'm not that excited about. Precision aerodynamics will be nice later on. Grid fins is sick. Yes, grid fins would be awesome. I don't know, what do you guys think? Um, medium launchers, fuel, or we can either do medium launchers on its own, or we can do fuel lines and uh, enhanced electronics. Enhanced electronics would get us the the uh, external cro fuel cross feeds, which is very nice. Like, uh, and the enhanced electronics gives us some more uh, probe cores and better retractable, non-retractable, non-retractable, non-retractable. Okay, so single-use solar panel stuff. All right. Um, grid fins are fun, but I don't know if we have any need for them quite yet. These are just the small ones. I want to go to. I want to do some big rockets. Uh, I think because I want to do big rockets, I think I'm gonna do this. Cause I want to go to like Minmus now or something. Alex, have I seen Smarter uh, Every Day's video about the Artemis project? Yep, I did a. a I had a response. I thought it was fantastic. I thought it was great. I love the discussion. Um. I had a long, like, I did a, a long, kind of just some feedback or some, some not counterpoints really, but more just some ideas on X or on Twitter. Um, I posted some some thoughts there, because I thought it was great, but it, there were some things, some assumptions, you know, um, yeah, that I just kind of wanted to clear up. What do you guys think? I don't really need fuel lines. I think I'm going to go medium launchers. I want some bigger parts. Let's do it. All right, we are here. Let's go back to the vehicle assembly building and build ourselves. Should we go to Minmus? Yeah, it was like a week ago, Alex. It was like a week ago. So now we can do some proper three seat command modules and things. With Minmus, we really still don't need to do any multi-staging things. You know, we can just go uh, do this in one go. I, okay, so, yes, everyone is asking about performance. I don't know how, we tried looking up, like, I can't, I don't know where we get the FPS now. I, I looked for it. Get out of there. These are weird glitches. Or it's showing. That's a bug. Gameplay at the bottom. Show FPS. Derp. Alright, 160 FPS at this exact moment. Like I said, any any delay you guys see is either between I actually am like I said, I'm actually capturing this PC on my end through a crappy 
video capture card into my Mac to do it on OBS. I know it's dumb and convoluted, but it's easier for me with the cameras and all that stuff. Actually, nowadays I could probably do it easier on the PC. But this works for me. This way I can keep all of, all of my everything, like that I normally do with streams. And I don't have to switch stuff over for streams, you know, plug cameras in, do all that crap. I can just keep it all set up on my Mac. And then I'm basically just using like this as an external monitor in OBS, if that makes any sense. Yeah, so there's there's some lag on, that I'm seeing with my eyes a little bit, you know, and also you between that and then the compression of YouTube. Um, yeah, like the, the, the scan lines, you can actually see it here when I'm wiggling like this. That's my capture card. That's not the game, that's my capture card. Anyway, let's get back into, uh oh, we only have extra small size. That looks dumb. Uh oh, this is not good. Oh, we have small, we have small, we have small right there. These are, uh, radial. I mean, I guess we'll do two of them. And we'll still do a drogue. Yeah, I think we'll just use a nose cone. We could do a docking port if we wanted to. Cool. Yep, definitely. This is all official training for Dear Moon. Exactly. <laughs> all right, let's do some medium decoupler here. Oh, it's going to be awkward with this being too small. Do we have a payload thing yet at all? Where is this payload? Wait. Utility. Shoot, I don't think I have anything payload wise. I probably should have unlocked that. Maybe I still can? No, my drogue's not on the hatch, it's on the back side of the hatch. The hatch is over here. This is the hatch. The drogue's on the opposite side of it. That's true, I could put the science on top. I mean, we're gonna be carrying it around anyway, whatever. Who cares? Looks a little glonky now, but I'm fine with that. Sometimes I also like to have just a touch of monoprop on the vessel itself. Hmm. Little, little itty bitty things like this. Where did I put those? I'll just tuck them in here. Make good use of it that way. There we go. And then we'll add a little bit more. Uh, There we go. What was that sound? All right, well, uh, let's keep going. Let's, uh, let's do a large monoprop tank now. Look at that. Wow. Oh, wow. I'm almost. Overlapping parts. You're sad that I'm overlapping parts. Fine, I'll do it here. I'll put it inside this nose cone. Because technically that nose cone is going to be empty. Oh. I guess I can't mount something to there. I'm doing this just because... I should not encourage this. I'm doing this just because you complained. No, I... Why am I doing this? Look. Now it's almost engineered. Are you happy? You gotta clip some parts every now and then. Also, compl <laughs> complaining about realism in Kerbal Space Program is is an ironic and funny thought. All right, let's get us enough Delta V out of this stage. I know we have so we have like wildly too much 
monoprop. We have 1,500 meters per second to get off Minmus. I'm going to try and do a more traditional rocket this time. I'm still just going to fly to and from the surface. I don't like doing ladders. One thing that I forgot last time, my friends, was... I did forget solar and batteries. Let's just stick some, some fatty old solar panels. All right, meow. The person talking in the song was um, Dave Scott. I believe it was Apollo 8 recordings. I'm going to add a little bit of a battery up here. Well, now I'm going to have to clip downwards. Okay. Let's add some lights. That's something we did not have last time. Hey, look at this. I bet if we, um, if we just point these lights down at the solar panels, then we'll have, um, oopsies. I accidentally re, my bad. Yeah, if we point these lights down at the solar panels, then we'll have infinite, uh, energy, right? Right, guys? Okay, that's going to be kind of used for landing. Make sure these are ex can extend. Oh, God. Our lady legs are not nearly long enough. <laughs> that's how it works. Yep. Notice it's, you know, perpetual energy solved. I'm a little bit nervous about doing things like beams and stuff, because this is probably just asking for it. So maybe I'll do a landing leg test quick before we take off. Oops, that's pretty tall. I'm gonna go take this out to the pad and see. I'll, I'll empty it out because it won't have nearly this much uh, mass on the surface. I just wanna see if these landing legs explode or something. Hey, look at that. Landing leg test is decent. It is pretty high center of gravity though. I might wanna fix that. Okay. Whoopsies. That's not what I wanted. Well, there's a glitch. I'll just redo this. But I was thinking I'm going to do not six. I still want four. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cant these out. Whoopsies. Like this. There we go. Ugly landing leg extensions. <laughs> All right. Let's retract these baddies. Cool. Turn off wob wobbly rockets. 
Alright, well, let's just keep going. Oh, let's make sure and refuel this, though. That would've been bad. I had forgotten that. Okay. Still 1,500 meters per second. We have a crew of three. We're gonna have... No ladders, they just are gonna jump out and have a great time. And we got solar panels, we got lights, we got thrusters galore, we got monoprop galore. Way too much monoprop. Let's, uh, let's just keep going. Let's build this baby out. Alright, what do we have for a decent medium? So, this guy's 307 in vacuum. We'll do... A skipper. Three thousand meters per second. I guess we're gonna try. We're gonna try like a nice tall rocket and see if it's uh, see how good the the wobble is. We're gonna put it to the test. So you can't actually click and restore agency colors. <laughs> this is the uh, the bow leg, that's for sure. Let's do one more like this. Throw on a mainsail, which should have 16, 1300 newtons of kilonewtons of thrust, so double that of the skipper. But I don't know if this is going to be enough thrust to weight ratio at liftoff. Uh, probably not. This. It says 1.2. It says 1.2. That's only 4,700 meters per second. Let's do that trip planner to Minmus. Okay, so it needs about 5,000 to get to Minmus. So we gotta do more. Yeah, we'll just do we'll just do some boosters on the side. All right. Let's do six big old fat boosters just to make it easy on ourselves. I could step to 6,100. It's not going to take much to get back, actually. Hmm. That's going to be an insane amount of thrust to weight ratio to a liftoff, I'm guessing. That's nah, not anything crazy. Um, I don't know. Do you guys think this is enough? Oh, hold on. Sorry, I missed some stuff from... This is from P. Pennett. Thank you, Tim, for getting me excited about space all these years again and again. We really appreciate your work. Greetings from Finland. Well, thank you and happy holidays. Thank you so much, P. Pennett. I appreciate that. And this one from Rogue Flotilla. Love the name. So there's 53 months of membership, four and a half years. That's incredible. Thank you so much. I quoted you in my final research paper for an astronomy class I took last semester. You've inspired my passion for everything space. Thank you so much. No, thank you so much. That's a very, very generous comment. I appreciate that, and thank you so much for the long-term membership. That's amazing. Yeah, you guys are great. I, I always appreciate it. It's so cool to see you guys. How many, are any of you guys here going to the Astro Awards? Any, am I gonna see any of you guys in Austin, Texas in January alongside industry leaders, people doing the actual missions and the science and the research? Who am I gonna see? Any of you? Let me know. 
We still have a we still have a decent amount of tickets. We have sold out of a few packages, or at least one package. Uh, if you guys don't know, so for a long time I've done the Astro Awards, which is uh, like uh, it has been a joke almost like every year. Not a joke, but it's like a year in review, and then we jokingly give out awards to people in spaceflight. This year we're actually doing it though. We're really truly doing a proper award show ceremony similar to like the Grammys or the Emmys uh, the Golden Globes and we're doing an award show for spaceflight we're doing an award show for for the people and the humans behind these missions we're giving them a physical award or we're recognizing the coolest missions of 2023 and you can be there so even if you you personally can't be there let someone know that's uh, in the United States definitely in Texas or if they're in Austin make sure they come to this it's gonna be super super fun uh, yeah, we're we're doing uh, it's multiple things. So you can also uh, let's see here. So we also have like a pre-show party that's going to be me playing all the music you're hearing live, uh, which is going to be super fun. So we're throwing like a pre-show party this the Saturday, January thirteenth, and it's going to be a full concert. And do notice there is a little extra secret here. Um, wait, where did it, um? Look at this. I don't know if you can read that. But we do have a new special guest playing that Saturday night show. Our friend Scott Manley is going to open up the set by DJing, which is going to make it so fun. So if you guys want to see myself, Scott Manley, and of course the amazing people behind some of the coolest missions ever, head on over to astroawards2024.com or everydayastronaut.com slash shop. Get yourself a... Uh, Get yourself there. Get yourself to Austin, Texas, January 13th and 14th. Make a weekend of it. You'll have the time of your life. All right. Now that we're done with that, let's get back into this. Yes, it is properly DJ Scott Manley. That's exactly right. Uh, it will not... The pre-show party will not be live-streamed. Um... We just don't have the infrastructure to do it, and we're we're making it so it's a fun party that people can let loose and don't have to worry about being on camera either. <laughs> you know, I don't want I want people to be able to enjoy themselves and not have to worry about like, oh, is the camera watching me? Here's what we're gonna do: we're gonna try and ext we're gonna make this booster bigger. That will help. There we go. All right. Oopsies. Oh, let's put these baddies back on. Okay, so we've got more thrust out of the main engine. This is kind of looking like a Delta II that's capable of getting humans to the moon. Or Kerbals. Huge thrust to weight ratio. What happened? How did our thrust to weight ratio go up again? I think that might be a bug. Some inconsistencies in the thrust to weight ratio. We're going to go ahead and still strut this up a little bit. I'm also going to change the color of the boosters. Okay. Better. Oh, did I have six before? Is that what I did? I was wondering about that, actually, if I only had six before. Do we have any peripheral engines yet? We still don't have any peripheral engines. I would love to have something on the side that I can use for, like, roll thrusters. And I don't think the puffies... Shift to view more. It does vector. So what we could do, this would be a really dumb way to do roll control, but hey, I'm not above it. I'm not above it. We're gonna do this. We're gonna add four of these puffies. And we're just gonna give them their own little monoprop tanks. And hopefully that provides us with some roll control. Uh, I'm into the I'm tier two, a few things into tier two on the on the tech tree. 
Like that's not lining up down the middle. I'll just go like this. Oh, no, I was eyeballing it. That'll be good enough. All right, so we will turn these on at the same time as, what are the 16? Wait, did I mess something up and now there's double sets of boosters? It's saying there's 16 in there. Oh! <laughs> okay, something happened. This is probably a glitch. Oh, I see. Yes, there are 16 boosters hiding inside there. Now our thrust weight ratio is probably going to make a little more sense. No. That, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I'm being very dumb about this sometimes. Huge thrust to weight ratio. Which, of course, means we can throttle back the main engines. I'm thinking I'll still do some small stabilizers. Those are way too small now. Now let's throw some clamps on this thing. Call it a day. Purposely clipping those in there a little bit. I am going to let the uh, mainsail engine ramp up for a tiny because I think there is a little bit of a ramp up now. Cool. 6,900 meters per second. If it was 6,942, that'd be hilarious. Or would it? <laughs> I don't know. Is this actually going to go up or down? Down. Because I guess they're counting it that tiny bit of impulse. Why am I doing this? This is so dumb. I don't think it's gonna work. Oh well. <laughs> All right. I think we're ready to go. You guys ready? Let's do it. Let's get to Minmus. Launch is now. User, user, user one, user one. Oh, we're launching at night though, crap. Oh well, kind of epic actually. What were our missions? Find the source of mysterious thing. Oh, orbit with a elliptical orbit, no big deal. We also should exit Kerbin's gravitational sphere of influence. Oh, we haven't done the uh, lonely satellite one, whatever. Okay. You guys ready for this? Let's see if lights work. How do you... I want these lights to turn on. I don't know, but here we go. Three, two, one, lift off. 37 frames per second for those of you wondering. With 
a decent sized rocket. All settings cranked, absolutely maxed out. But on a 4090s, the uh, pretty much top of line computer. I'm gonna throttle down my mainsail. We have plenty. Oh, that scared me. I was facing the wrong way. Yeah, I don't know how to turn on lights still. Well, yeah, if you were running this on on a uh, smaller computer, like with a 1080 or something, you'd have to massively uh, turn down performance. I have everything absolutely at the maximum setting. Look at all that debris. Yeah, I'm playing this game at the most absolute everything you can do to increase the look of the game. And it's still at, and now it's at 70. At takeoff, it was 37 frames a second. So if you just decrease a little bit of the settings, then you'll likely get a lot better performance than this. Yeah, see, there you go. GTX 1080 getting 45 frames a second on 1440 with small rockets, high settings. Like I said, I'm I'm at the highest possible settings you can imagine, so. All right, let's do stage separation now. Did I mess something up? I never know, like, this scares me. I'm afraid to hit staging. We need a better way of knowing that a stage is active. Like, I feel like they're too early to make it look like it's active. Uh, Roche, what you're seeing, I'm doing a, a capture card. So I'm, you're seeing a crappy compressed capture card of the game into my Mac is the way I'm running it. It, it looks fantastic. You're seeing a worse version of what I'm seeing even. And I'm seeing a pretty degraded version because it's running through a capture card. The game actually looks fantastic. <laughs> it doesn't want to be broken and there's, of course there's valid criticism, of course. Um, let's see here. So I am going to just work on circularizing at least. This is a very physics inten intense game though. Yes, I'm playing career right now. Information on Dear Moon, I mean the latest we know, is, as you guys know, likely following all things uh, Starship, is that we're waiting on Starship. You know, they released a, a little statement a little bit ago. Oh, I'm in a very elliptical orbit now. All I need to do is circularize this for that one mission. Good. Um, I mean, sh yeah, sure, Roche. This is that's what you think. I mean, I I'm very happy with the performance. It's it's substantially upgraded. I don't have. I just had a very non wobbly rocket. I'm. I feel like this is where early access probably should have started. I said that a few times on the stream, but I'm happy with it. This is this is good enough now for me to. 
want to play this, genuinely want to play it, not just like play it because I think it looks pretty. Kind of that, that's where I was at before is I felt like it just kind of looked and sounded better and I just enjoyed the visual aesthetics of it and now I just kind of actually want to play it because it's fun because I'm like I'm hooked right now. Speaking of, I better be careful of time. I do have a family time commitment. What's up, uh, Tropiu? Tropius? Tropius? Tropius. Okay, I'm just gonna circularize this so we can get that one contract done. Or not circularize, just raise our orbit enough to do that elliptical orbit thing. Should be right now. There we go. All right, hit that science button quick. <laughs> I'll let you know if the moon's flat when I get there, for sure. Uh, let's see. <laughs> it's a challenge to frame a performance increase as a bad thing. <laughs> I like that. See, I'm just, I'm an optimistic person. I like to look at things as, I just, I'm a patient, happy-go-lucky person that just enjoys, tries to enjoy life. I'm having a lot of fun playing this game. I think it's better than it was before. It's finally, genuinely, uh, has all the features that I was missing. Most of the features that I was missing. It's still a few features that I'm not, that I would like to see back again. Like, why not enjoy this? Why why, why do people have to be upset about things? Okay, wait, why do we have so little monoprop? Did I really burn through that much monoprop? <gasps> oh, but I accidentally had... Oh, that's still a glitch. There's a bug. Bug, I can't see how much is in there. I still don't like this parts manager thing, honestly. But we don't have a ton of monoprop, so I'm gonna try keeping it off as much as I can. Uh, what guitars do I use? I have a lot. I'm one of those, like, guitar hoarders. Um, but I really enjoy... I, my go-to guitar is always my... I've got a Tele Thin Line that I've had for... Since I started, probably 20 years ago or whatever now. Almost, oh my god. Literally, like, 20 years ago. That's crazy. Uh, that I just love. Uh, I play on strats a lot. I have a Les Paul that I've used a couple times. I'm not quite... Les Paul just doesn't feel right to me for some reason. You can see fuel in the resource manager. This thing up here, the vehicle resources. Yeah, but that's... I want it part by part. I want to know... Yeah. Yes, I will... At the bottom? Oh. Oh. So my big tank, F all R1, I'm guessing is the the big one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Josh. That's awesome. Okay. Day I learned. That's not so bad then. All right, let's get to Minmus. Let's get to Minmus. Let's do something. Now, the challenge with Minmus is that it's at an inclination, so we have to either launch at our inclination. Well, that's what we should have done. We should have launched to that inclination right away. Or we have to line it up so that our burn right here, because this is actually exactly where we're at. That's funny. Our ascending node is right where we are. Where that is lined up with it at 90 degrees. So it would have to be up here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fast forward in time. We're in a safe orbit, right? We're at, yep, 5485 by 73,000. So we're gonna speed up. And we're gonna get, oh great. Okay, so what we're gonna do, because I, it's gonna slow us every time we get down there, I'm gonna circularize a little bit. It's not the most efficient thing in the world, but. We're just going to raise our orbit here a little bit again so that we can time warp faster. Wasting Delta V, basically. Oh, well. Okay, now we're going to fast forward so that 
Minmus is aligned. We're going to get dizzy. At 90 degrees to there, basically. Okay, this should be it. So now we can just do our burn at our ascending node, more or less. This is where our, our orbits align. And then this will line up, hopefully, with Minmus. Now the other problem is Minmus has a very low amount of gravity compared to the moon. It's even smaller than the moon. So it's actually a little bit harder to actually make an intercept with it, which you're seeing right now. I'm gonna try and line this up even better. We might be able to get there just by doing some shenanigans like this. Sending node, or intersect A. Dang, that's kind of crazy. I feel like we're pretty darn close to it, but that's not enough to, that's not enough to get there. Okay, that goes away from it. Let's go with this one. Closer, closer, closer. Plane change is never fun. Oh, that's worse again. Hmm. Am I doing this wrong? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Minimus is way back there right now? What? Wait, wait, wait. I thought we had fast forwarded it. Fast forwarded it, it, it. Plenty. What am I doing? Okay. Oh, I was looking at the moon. The mun. Sorry. That's why. Okay, okay. Okay, we're letting Minmus line up to the 90 like 90 degrees off of our ascending node there we go there we go okay now so much debris clear up some debris here i'm being a good steward of space Weird. All right, now we can burn more or less at our uh, maybe not. Something's happening. This might be a glitch. Yeah, I'm not able to. Unless I did something wrong. Oh, I was in pause. My bad. Create a maneuver. That was my bad. To answer the question, long story short, I've been at this now for three hours and haven't had any very minor glitches that are just minor inconveniences, or like just annoyances. Very, very minor. So far, honestly, the game is genuinely quite playable and quite enjoyable. And I've been having an awesome time it's kind of rekindling my love for, for Kerbal. Alright, where's my... Mm, there we go. Minimus periapsis. 676,000 meters. Let's see if we can lower that a little bit. Does this go up or down? That gets worse. Oh, oh, oh. And right there. back here. Not Kerbin Apoapsis we want. Minmus Periapsis. Where are you, buddy? I know you're out here somewhere. Kerbin Apoapsis. Crap. Uh, 
Um, oh, oh. Pretty close distance from target. Crap, this is hard. You know what, though? When we get there, we can just. Honest word. Um, hmm. Good. Booster 10 made it onto the OLM. That's awesome. That's what I'm thinking. I might just split it up into two burns. Why is it making it look like I'm going to run into the moon? Am I going to run into the moon? Oh, after, after I run into Minmus. Why does it still seem wrong, though? I'm just gonna start over real quick. Start it over. That's exactly what he says right there. Can't quite tell. There we go. Minimus period. Oh, 1,300 kilometers. Kind of far away, but we have plenty of Delta V. Let's stop worrying about this and just do it. Start burn in 30. Okay, so let's get to our target. Uh oh, we only have a thousand meters per second left in these tanks. It takes 769 meters per second to get there. Lown, but decent. Matt Lown's amazing. What are you talking about? He's fantastic. Alright. Getting out to Minmus. Going up on our stopping point. Three, two, one. Hopefully that's just decent, decent, decent. So that's the way, let's see. Whoa, way off. Not even close. Oh, 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 okay. We just need that intercept. And then I'll just, there we go. It's not great, it's not a great one. We're 2,000 kilometers away from Minmus when we get there, but we're just gonna do it anyway. We're so far out there that it's gonna take such a minor, such a minor little impulse to orbit, hopefully. Because here's the thing, notice how slow, so the way that orbits work, remember, is you're going the slowest at your highest point. And we're way out here near the end of Kerbin's sphere of influence, our, our home body, Kerbin. 
We're way out here. So notice our orbital velocity is like slowing down because we're getting to the top of the roller coaster. We're getting to the top of the hill. We're only going 100 meters per second, 80, 70 relative to Kerbin. Because of that, it does not take much to change our velocity or our, our orbit makes, we can do little maneuver changes and it's gonna make a big difference. Now, we still have to basically catch up to Minmus or slow down when we get there, I guess. So here is our intercept. Oh God, no, 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 God. Okay, we're just gonna slow down here. And actually, if we had stayed in Kerbin orbit and raised it, it would have also worked pretty well. But anyway, let's just do a burn here. Because yeah, we're also going really slow around Minmus as well. There we go. We will land on Minimus. I think we're gonna be landing opposite. We're flying. Oh yeah. We are flying opposite. I could flip this orbit by just using a little bit of. There we go. And there is a decent Minimus orbit. Okay, and we're all out at, here's what I'm going to do, I'm going to make it so our, we intentionally crash this booster stage into, uh, into Minmus, like this, there. Now, the booster will crash into it, and we, hopefully, won't. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. So let's do stage separation now. Cool, so now we have 1,800 meters per second of delta V to basically land. I'm still scared. This is a huge bug to me. I don't know if this engine is active. I can check it by just throttling up and down, but... Okay, I activated it now. Here we go, quick save, flying towards Minmus. Speeding up. I can speed up even more than that, but it's going to come at us pretty quick once we start properly falling. Wait, am I going the wrong way again? I was going the right way before. Oh well, it doesn't hardly matter. Ooh, I can do science here. I'm going to do some science here. Cool. I might change where we're targeting right now and try to land in that big area. Oh, we're actually going all the way on the far side there. We might have had a little bit of an orbit mess up there. I'm saying our periapsis is 10,000, but I don't know what that is actually to the ground. That's gonna be dark. I don't love it when it's dark. Well, I wish our lights worked. I don't know why I can't get the lights to work. Light enabled. Is that a glitch? We have plenty of electrical charge. Did not know you could pitch those. That's really cool, actually. We're gonna do more science. Alright, what are we at now? We're at 15,000. Let's see if this is going to keep us clear. <laughs> okay, our ground is at 9,000. I think we're fine though. 5,000.
This is Ticker Tape Parade by Everyday Astronaut. All right, and we're leveling out, and now we're going back up. Okay, so we successfully did not crash, which is good. I'm gonna do a burn here to circularize a little bit so our apoapsis isn't stupid high, and we can actually, oh, that looks cool. We can actually pick a target. Okay, so I wanna land us somewhere safe. Would have been better for me to do, is this north? No, that's south. I wanna raise our orbit, I wanna land up here in this big bright area. So I'm gonna burn right here. Oh, I think that's doing it wrong. Let me just do a... Yeah, we actually need to flip around and fly south. Interesting. Click the bulb on the left side of the screen for the lights. I like that idea. Is that still doesn't do anything. I wish the lights worked. That'd be awesome. Alright, let's try and, like I said, I'm still just trying to get this orbit up to... Oh god. I did not do what I thought I was going to do, so I'm going to... Do a little bit of this, which should... Nope, still not really... Okay, where am I oriented? So, that way... I want to raise the... Let's just build a point... North and prograde. Like this should definitely, nope. More north. Nope. I guess we're gonna land in this spot. <laughs> I have no idea where I am. I can't see anything. Too dark. Well, let's get in the sunlight. We are getting lower. Should I raise my orbit a little bit? I think I should just for safety since I can't see anything. See me against that galaxy ever so slightly. Oh, I forgot to. I'm doing this a solo mission with just with a three person capsule. I am dumb. Gotta be coming up on. Moonrise on on sunrise on the moon. There we go. Not moonrise. Still sunrise. Any second now. Come on. There we go. There we go. Yes. Finally, start to see some stuff. That turns on lights inside, but does not turn on lights on the outside. south right now you'd think I want to land in one of these flat spots I don't really want to land should this not there we go mm. 
Okay, now by the time it rotates a little bit again, our ground track should be right over that spot. Am I gonna post the video? Yeah, when this when this stream ends, you'll be able to go back. No, the way no light always light's not affected by vacuum, otherwise we wouldn't have any light from our sun. Light's not normally these just work. Huh. Maybe it's because I have them attached. They might be attached to that decoupler or something. Hmm. Where am I? Am I over my spot yet? No, I've got batteries. I've got 350 units of electrical charge. All right, where's retrograde now? That's prograde. Let's fly a little bit south. You know what? I'm the one that messed up my key bindings. What am I thinking? Those are the, sta the standard ones. Settings. User interface. Gameplay. Input. Input. I normally do this. Duh. No wonder this feels so weird. Max throttle. Proceed. This. Cut throttle. Proceed. This. Throttle delta. Proceed. Thro lower throttle down. Raise throttle up. There we go. Okay. This is going to feel so much better to me. I think that's... That's the way I'm used to doing this. Why did I change it? That's so weird. All right, let's get back into gameplay. Oh, it's already so much better. Like I can actually manage this now. All right, slowing down. And coming in for landing. There we go, right in the middle of this big old green lake bed thing. Oh, toggle lights is on the same. Okay, hang on, I'm gonna pause it so I don't mess up. Settings, gameplay, input. Toggle lights, you, it's you. I've been hitting you. You, uh, unpause, you. You. You does nothing. These lights are broken. Okay, I better slow down a little bit. It looks like I might land. Oh, that looks like a decent place to land. horizontal velocity and fall right where we are. How many astronauts does it take to change a light bulb? Too many, apparently. Okay, always fly so you can see your shadow. That's my rule. This should do it. Better start throttling up a little bit here. Still got a tiny bit of horizontal velocity, so I'm gonna scrub that off here by flying a little bit crooked. Like this, and now we can just fly straight up and down. I'm gonna change this to surface. There we go. Point this baby up. Oh, there we go. So we actually had a little bit more horizontal velocity that we gotta cancel out. Right above the surface, why not? There we go, perfect. No, we've zeroed out our horizontal velocity. We're just more or less landing. I'll use RCS now to 
really zero out that horizontal velocity. There we go. And we're landing on Minmus. So cool. Oh, that's perfect. There we go, nice and easy. Still almost landed. Yeah, using the engine bells a little bit as landing gear. No big deal. That's what they're there for, right? Woo! I like that, guys. <laughs> it's landing under you. Amen. I love it. Good work. Okay, I'm gonna fill up on water. We'll plant a flag. We'll fill up on water. We'll get home. We'll see what else we can do in one hour. Give me one second, guys. I'm just gonna take a quick little break, and I'll be right back. miss me well let's let's get out I think we've got some some things that I missed um, looks like so far Zenith KSP is our top so is our top person they'll likely get the flag on the moon here Ben guy 26 months thank you so much I order some of your merch for my nephew's Christmas present always get buzz when I see you go live thanks for entertaining uh, thanks for the entertaining education. You're welcome, Ben Guy. Thank you so much for the ongoing support, and thanks also for grabbing some merch for your nephews. That's fantastic. I think today literally might be the last day if you guys are needing any uh, Christmas presents or holiday presents. Uh, if you're trying to get something in our store, I think today actually is the last day they're shipping. You might want to check on that, actually. Uh, but everydayastronaut.com slash shop. We have lots of new stuff. Like I'm wearing a new Hypergolic shirt, which is one of my absolute favorite shirts ever. The back is so sick. Has fun little write up on what Hypergolics are. Um, and just like warning signs, all the actual warning labels of, of hydrazine and stuff like that. So it's super fun. This shirt's awesome. I wear it way too much, which is maybe a bit embarrassing. But yeah, I like the, the sleeves have cool details. Just a cool shirt. Um, yeah, if you want that, that's new. We also have a new pointy end up, flaming end down shirt, hydrazine mug, hypergolic water bottle, methylox shirt and hoodie, and of course, 
Uh, we have new Hydro Flask water bottles, Hydro Flask brand water bottles even, so these are actual ones, but they're heat shield mugs. Same with our heat shield color changing mug, which does change color as you fill it. So super cool. If you guys want some last minute Christmas presents or holiday gifts, everydayastronaut.com slash shop makes all the difference in the world. Thank you so much to all of you that do support. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Let's, let's finish this up here. Uh, like I said, I think at this point, it looks like our highest our, our, the, let's see, the highest one was, Craig was our last one, but now I think this is where it's going here to Kenneth KSP. Thank you for the six Euro tip. You will officially now have a flag on in my save named after you. Oh God, this made the rocket a little bit linear. <laughs> I needed longer landing legs after all. Okay, getting rockets out, I think, hopefully. Yes, I did. Okay. Here we go. Let's, uh... How do I actually walk towards me and not just backwards? I guess I just move the camera? No. Maybe I can't walk towards myself anymore. Whoa, that mountain on the on there looks crazy. Can you actually see Kerbin from here? Probably not. Sweet. All right, let's plant a flag. Ooh, we better run a surface survey. All right, we'll run a crew observation on the surface. <laughs> It's boring? Bob, don't yawn. You're doing an observation. <coughs> <coughs> and let's plant a flag. Uh, we'll call this the Zenith. Why is it capital? There. Zenith KSP. Zenith KSP planes, baby. Thanks for your support. And to all of you channel members, including you who have been existing, like Patrick and P. Pennett. You guys are awesome. I appreciate it. Sweet, we're doing it. We're doing it. Think we have enough time. Let's see, we have one hour. A little less than an hour. I gotta head. I gotta be somewhere at five o'clock. It's coming up on four o'clock, so we have just a little bit less than an hour. Oh, weird. All right, trying to figure out how that goes. All right, let's get back in the lander. Again, yeah. Thank you to P. Pennant for becoming a member. And to 51 months of membership from Patrick. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. All right. Back in the lander we go. You guys ready? Wait, why is Nightbot deleting your messages, Zenith? I'm sorry about that. Why? Stupid Nightbot. Like, why? It's deleting half your messages. I don't like Nightbot. Nightbot's stupid. Helps us keep spam out of here, but in general, I feel like YouTube spam isn't as bad as it used to be. F. Grab. I like how he has a three-person capsule for just himself. Okay, we better also run this research. All right. Time to get our butts back to Kerbin. Get home. So we want to fly more or less straight east. No big deal. All right, we'll launch with the launch of the music. Not yet. Three, two, one, go. Maybe. Oh yeah, I <laughs> redid the key bindings. Wee! 
Alright, so we're going to be doing this for a while. So we're actually barely accelerating forward. Or up, I mean. Maybe I'll do a little bit more. Up, just so we're not waiting forever. Alright. Definitely clear those mountains now. Thank you, Austin, for fixing the Nightbot. Hopefully. Oh, it also is um, continually. Nightbot is also constantly trying to push the last um, <laughs> Rocket Lab mission article. We could probably turn that off too, if possible. Everyone say thank you, Austin, for fixing Nightbot. <laughs> you don't think East applies in space? It works for me. And if it works, it works. Okay. Well, we're still not that high up, so it's being very slow. There we go. Now we can fast forward faster. Or time warp faster, as they say. Alright, let's circularize a bit here. Alright, now let's find our return trajectory home. It's going to be somewhere around here. Okay, uh-oh, uh-oh. That's not optimal. That is not optimal. It also is not optimal. <laughs> Better. Why am I so bad at this? 14,000, 10,000, 9,000. We're running into curve bend, apparently. Okay. Or something. What is happening down there? <laughs> when we get down there? Are we running into the moon? Wait. What is this? What's it saying? Yes, we're running into the moon. Okay. Oh, this kind of stinks that I can't grab. Seven hundred is about as low as I'm getting it right now. What is going on? Six hundred. Now we're flipping. This is terrible. Now I could use normal and antinormal, you're, you're right. That would probably get me in there. Uh, 
Okay. That's the wrong way. And just pull this in. Okay. Wait, is that thing is gonna run into the surface of Oh god. Yes, that's exactly what that's saying. That will run into the surface of Minmus. <laughs> oh, whatever. I don't even care anymore. Uh, let's see, which way are we going with this? Are we first getting out into a... Whatever, I'm just going to clear... I'm going to get out of stupid Minmus orbit. <laughs> Yeah, I guess it could have changed the uh, the inclination. I didn't really ever watch all of For Mankind, but I should have, and I should still, and I should. <laughs> and I would like to at some point. All right, whatever. I'm actually impatient. I just want to see this thing. So I think this is going to fling us out, right? Whatever. We're <laughs> just... Uh-oh. Yikes, yeah, all right. We're flying even closer to, <laughs> to Minmus again. We're slowly getting higher up from Minmus on our way to an escape trajectory. Where we go? We can time warp more now. There we go. Much better. Let's get out of here. Okay. Now we can just fly to a Kerbin Apoapsis and just lower it. It's not the most efficient thing in the world, but we have plenty of Delta V. I was getting sick of trying to figure out the best way to get back, and this is just as easy. Periapsis, 30,000 kilometers. Let's get that baby down to like 25 kilometers. No, I'm running into the moon. I'm running into the moon and it's throwing us out of, sorry, the mun. And it's throwing us out of the solar, or out of Kerbin's sphere of influence. <coughs> uh, so this is not great. One's gravitational influence is screwing us over at this moment. You can see it right there. What we might just do is like, we'll do a flyby. We'll do this in two orbits. Sorry, Bob. I know you want to be home, but you know. We're just going to make sure you don't hit the moon. It's for your own good, I swear. 
Okay. Now we can start lowering our orbit again. Hopefully. 2,000... 1,500... 1,500... 1,500... We're going for like 25. There's... Alright, good enough. Let's get home. New update's going great for me. I'm having an awesome time. I'm excited to get the science back and see what upgrades we can bring and try to do an even more advanced mission than the Mun and Min Miss. I'd say it gets it closer to on par. Like some parts of it are better than KSP-1. I think the graphics and the some parts are way better in my opinion. Um, but other parts are still not quite on par. I'm going to use whatever we got left in these tanks just to make this easier. Wait, I should also do the thing where I try to actually target a freaking ocean. So I'm going to do this. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. SAS hold, please. Something more like this. Trying to ever so slightly. Well, great. Now I probably messed up our whole. Now we're probably going to do a flyback again. I just want to land in the ocean is all. Just let me land in the ocean. Okay. Now... Let's just let this vehicle re-enter naturally. What happened to that Falconine Beach that soft landed just off the LZ Beach? I don't know what... Did something happen last night? <laughs> did, did the Falcon 9 booster land not in the right place or something? Um... I didn't hear anything about this. Oh. <laughs> Long ago, off the... Oh, off the landing zone beach. Oh, oh, oh. I think that was booster 1050. B1050. CRS 20, I believe. Is that right? I think they just scrapped parts, but I think parts of that rocket were actually on Starhopper. You know what? I'm going to let this thing go to here. Am I actually going to land in the ocean? Probably not. I'm not great at this. Sorry, Bob. Every time we land, we make sure... Look at Bob in there. That's right, buddy. Well, that's sick. Dang. Do they not have IV... Uh... We still can't go inside, right? I don't remember. There we go. We are going to splash down. Look it. I did it. Wow. Finally. Yeah, that's a really, really, really nicely detailed cockpit. I'm going to make it so our main shoots. I want them just to deploy like at like 500 because I'm sick of waiting so long. Armo, that's sick, man. You're gonna get one of my Falcon 9 models for from my website. Sick. That's awesome. Thank you for the support. I do appreciate that a lot. That's really exciting. 
I love those models. They are, they are the best models, period. Always keep one of mine here. I may or may not have a handful of these, <laughs> because why wouldn't I? I do love them. They are the best. Find me another Falcon 9 metal model rocket like this and compare them for me. Let me know if anyone's built a better one. I don't think, I've never seen one. Look, it's kind of like a jellyfish butt or something. Dragon capsule's removable, yep. But it does stay with, hang on, it stays with the trunk. What did I do? There we go. And splashing down kind of fast. 10 meters per second. Luckily, we're splashing down. But we did it. And we can do this. All right. Back to recover vessel. Glad I didn't click. I don't like that revert is right next to recover. That'd be some feedback. It scares me. It scares me a lot. <laughs> um, let's see here, though. Let's just go like this here. I'll show you real quick. Yeah, the dragon capsule does come off from here. So it's separate from the, uh, from, you can separate it from the actual second stage, but it does not separate from the trunk. But if I, if like, I think if we were to redo this, we'd have to redo the molds. I'd make the adapter part here so this is a little bit cleaner because it has that little extra bit. Probably would switch that around. Not a big deal though, not a big deal at all. But anyway, um, I always forget how to put this back in there. And I made the instructions on this. Oh, there we go. Well, Allie made the instructions on this. But yeah, then it just goes in here. Twist. Ta-da. Definitely, I mean, I'm a little biased, but I don't think you can do better than that. Like, I think that's the best rocket there is. And yes, you can, you can get these uh, under accessories. They're no longer on the homepage. You gotta kind of look for them under your accessories. Falcon 9 model rockets. They do come in an awesome box. That's half the cool part is the box is amazing and instructions. We went all out. They're awesome models. They're, like I said, I think this is the, the best model you can find. So yeah, everydayastronaut.com slash shop. Thank you guys again for your support. Much, much, much appreciated. Let's see what else we can do in the next 30 minutes. 30 minutes is how long I'm streaming. Okay, KSC. I love how quickly stuff like that loads though. That's exciting. Mission control, let's see how we're doing. So now we go, I don't know if we did any of these. Okay, we did do this. Oh my gosh, so just from that last mission we got 873 uh, plus 100 there. So we have a lot, we can go to the R&D center. Um, oh, that one we'd have to land at a specific point on the moon. I kind of want to keep exploring, though. All right, tiny engines. Do these have, uh, nope, no side ones yet. Small payloads. I wouldn't mind having a pay like a cargo bay, but those are 1.25. Might skip that for now. Medium. Nuclear is awesome, but I don't even think that's that necessary. Expanded construction, these are cool parts. Precision aerodynamics, those are cool parts. Precision propulsion, these are ones that I actually really want. Some side thrusters and stuff. These are things that I've been... That's actually pretty far up there. I know it seems like a not that exciting of a thing, but it is actually. Modular launchers, what's... Oh, those are the good ones. KS-25s. Precision propulsion is up there. Durable power systems. These are foldable. I like that. Atmospheric science. Precision machining. Enhanced coupling. That'd be nice. Mark II jets would be cool. Precision aerodynamics is cool. We have 973 to spend. I think the main thing that I actually want is precision propulsion. So those two together are 700. Let's do it. Let's do fuel lines. Those are going to be great, actually. But that's going to be great for me. I really like using vernier thrust, <coughs> vernier thrusters, and these, um, yeah, these ones, and the kind of the sideways mounted twitch thrusters and stuff. 
Um, and then I might just do this just so we have grid fins. 230, we have 273, why not? All right, should we just play around actually and do like a Falcon 9 style thing? All right, so see if I had clicked revert right there, I wonder if it would have ruined my last mission. We should not have revert in this menu right now anymore. Like, yeah. All right, let's do it. Kerbal, let's go to the vehicle assembly building. What happened to my music? What did I do? Mess something up. All right. All right, let's just do a quick little... How big are these? I want to just see the size of these grid fins compared to this, just so I have a sense. Oh, those are still huge. Whoa. Looks like we're starting. We're going to do this. We're going to make... Oh my gosh. A Rocket Lab stream is playing. I was like, what is that music? That was so confusing to me. Let me get rid of that so I don't have to... <laughs> I was like, what happened to my song? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We're going to build a very simple... I want to do a full propulsive landing mission. So I'm going to do I'm going to do what SpaceX wanted to do. I'm going to go like this. no, that's not even right. Okay. We're going to be making a Stoke Space lander. Kind of. Medium heat shield. Now we can use one of my favorite things, the Vernier thrusters. Just to be able to help us orient through the atmosphere on the way back in. All right, all right. We got that. Um, they won't be self-landing rockets. If you have mods and stuff, you could probably do that. Um, but these will be manually landed rockets. Which one has more thrust? These ones do. No, these these are perfect, duh. Didn't see that we had these unlocked already. Two thousand meters per second out of these. That's not a lot. So we're, the booster's gonna <laughs> have to do. A lot of work if we want this to work out. Oopsies. Oh, the red one. Now we're going to have some cosine losses. I'm just trying to kind of tuck these in to be a little bit more realistic. Um, what's to say our thrust weight ratio is? Interesting. That's a lot. Okay, good enough. Okay, so this is our second stage and our lander. Welcome back, Ronnie. I don't know if this is a survive free entry, but we can try. Worst case scenario, we'll make a real quick uh, point to point vehicle. Okay. Here's what we're going to use. Oh, we got to put a probe core in this, though. Uh-oh, we don't have very good probe cores. We just have this. 
Um, all right, we're gonna put a Kerbal in here to pilot the booster landing. Holy crap, not recommended. Not recommended at all. Tuna can, you're getting... You're getting, uh... You're getting Bill. I, I don't wanna risk, I don't wanna hurt Valentina, she's too precious. Okay. I think this is the best. What's the one with the swivel? This one swivels. It's not great for efficiency. But we don't actually want too high of throttle capabilities. Okay, that's not enough thrust. We only have six, let's do eight of these. Now our thrust should be just high enough. Yep, just high enough. We'll throw some grid fins up on here. Of course, the beauty of grid fins is that they can be tucked away on ascent, although Starship's proving but that's not always necessary. <laughs> we'll go with eight since they're a little bit smaller. No, that is like Falcon 9 size. Well, we'll do eight, just because why not? And then we'll do some landing gear. We'll definitely have to do that thing again where we use like a beam because these are not nearly long enough. I don't like how that's... Let's just see what these look like extended. Pretty good, but a little bit too much angle, not enough depth on them. They're not quite going to uh, work all that well if the engine bells are touching. We'll clip these in a little bit, not too worried about it. Also clip this up a little bit. There we go. Little engine clipping, or no, little part clipping made no big deal. All right, let's get back up to the top of the rocket. Let's throw some verniers on this baddie. Go. Okay. Let's try and do it. How is our thrust weight ratio still above one? It is. I doubt these legs are going to hold <coughs> <coughs> on the launch pad on its own when it's full, but we could try. Let's just, uh, should we just send it? Uh, there's, I have like one album and th like one seven song album, a three song album, and two singles. So yeah, there's more. Um, let's throw launch clamps on it though, just so it doesn't. Okay, let's do it. Send it! Okay, good, it's daytime. I was worried about that. 
Here we go. I don't know what else to do. What are we waiting on? Nothing. Besides the music. Three, two, one. Lift off. <laughs> We're taking off with the legs out. She, oh wait, no legs were in. I don't know. Legs are everywhere. Who cares? There's no way this booster's gonna have enough Delta V to do this mission, I don't think. Yeah, this probably is not going to work out great. <laughs> Shoot, I also didn't action group. I also did not action group to cut the outer engine so our thrust is not insanely high. for the grid fins. We need a few. A few tweaks. Um, what should we do? Let's, we definitely need a lot bigger boosters. What actually performs better between those engines? These are 0 0.8, 126 at sea level. These are heavier oh the radial ones are actually a little bit better it seems higher thrust weight ratio on the reliance though wait 1.26 getting uh, 260 versus 140 okay 140 divided by 0 0.8 equals 175 to 1, while these are 260 divided by 1.25 equals 208. Okay, so I think that's good, right? That's better. Uh, I'm not too worried about battery power for this. What I am worried about is having enough thrust and power How Falcon 9 of us That actually looks kind of cool <laughs> I'm not going to lie Little jank with the, uh, there we go. Okay. So what's our thrust weight ratio now? 1.7, so we can add like a whole nother big tank probably. One point three, plenty thrust to weight ratio now. 
Okay. There we go. I like this better. We've got more thrust away ratio. I mean, yeah, higher thrust away ratio than we did. And more Delta V in that first stage by a lot. Vessel has no command pod and no parachute. Command pod may not survive from landing. I know. I know. I'm sorry. Alright, groups manager. So, custom one is going to... Uh, how do we, like, do all of the grid fins? Or is it literally going to be one at a time? Toggle control surface deploy. Deploy control surface. Do I really have to do this on... Oh my god. Really? This is dumb. What's the right way to do this? You don't have to. What's the... What? How do you fix it then? It's already set to brakes. Oh, to deploy him is set to brakes? Brakes. Look at that. You're right. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm gonna do then, since these are all out, I'm gonna I'm gonna invert the controls on them just in case. Just in case that's incorrect. Wait, I'll oh, custom one. Hang on. Just in case these are wrong. It's really coming in backwards. Yep, thank you. I'll leave in 10 minutes. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. My family also appreciates that. <laughs> thank you for the reminder. You guys are awesome. Ah! That was not awesome. Help! Okay. Custom 2. Not pods. I want this to go to... Did I mess something up? Custom 2. Wait, okay, okay. Custom 2. Engine. All but this last engine, which is the middle. Toggle engine. Toggle engine. Toggle. There's got to be a better way to do this, right? Alright, let's just send this again. Let's get out of here. Update so far is great. We're gonna name this Fal Stokey Falcon. <laughs> Stoke Falcon. It's kind of like a Stoke upper stage. All right, let's just get this done. Let's get this done. Let's get this done. Let's see how we do. All right, and okay, cool. That works. Just making sure. Three, two, wait. Interesting. Whatever. Uh, two. <laughs> cool. Uh oh, did I destroy our landing gears? Okay, hang on. Revert to launch. Revert to launch. What's up, Griffin? Griffin, Griffin. All right, here we go. With the music, as always. 
Okay, we didn't lose our landing gear that time. We're gonna retract him though. There we go. I'm gonna fly it really, really quite vertical. I'm so curious if this is gonna work at all. Forge, I did hear that you're making a, t <coughs> a tiny rocket engine. That's awesome. That is very cool. Be very safe. Watch all of Charlie Garcia's videos about making a rocket engine. True, faster descent, but, but, the other part of that is that, oh, why don't I have any control? Oh no, did I do the non-gimbling engines? Wait, what? Uh, uh, did I accidentally use the wrong engines? Uh, these are not vector engines, actually. Whoopsies. My bad. Alright, well, we're still gonna try it anyway. Okay, we have a lot of, uh, a lot of altitude there to play with. Let's get this thing. Whoa, why is... This one upside down. It's a little confusing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to catch that booster. This is so dangerous that we're doing this with a live Kerbin. Kerbal. Uh oh, I think it already disappeared. Shoot. It already disappeared, so we can't even... Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Okay, we're... We're gonna do something, we're just gonna play... Dang it, so you can't recover both stages right now. Okay, poopy. Well, for fun then, what we're going to do is we're just going to rebind this to be this is the root part. I'm going to get rid of all this stuff. We're just going to fly a booster as is. For fun. And then I'm getting out of here. I just want to try landing one. Oh, yep. I got about <laughs> only a couple minutes. All right. There is a Kerbal in there. I also want to change out these engines to not be the reliant, at least the middle engine. That's definitely not smart. Swivel. That one does not look as gimbly to me with the big heavy regen thing in the middle. I don't know. Um, buddy, there you go. Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. We're just going to do a suborbital. I just want to play with the good grid fins. This is just purely for fun. Let's go. Okay, so we're using the, uh, since we only have a single engine, we are using the RCS basically as roll control. <laughs> hey, it's been so fun watching this today instead of working. Don't tell your boss. I don't want to be in trouble. Let's 
So yeah, I'm gonna just try landing. I don't know, it'd be sick actually to land at one of those little. I do wanna go out a little way so we can try to fly it back in at an angle of attack. I'm also gonna give myself plenty of propellant. Although it needs to come in empty enough. It does need to come back empty enough that one engine can lift it. Hey, the light on that works. That's good. Alright, we're out here. Going way up. Now what we'll do... Flip around. Deploy brakes. Oh, you gotta hold them. Uh, is there a thing for that? And we'll do our boost back burn now. I remember we actually want to fly a little short of it so we can kind of coast in right under the FPS bar. Okay, so the thing that's probably a little bit blocked. There we go. Thank you. All right. Let's see how we're doing. Gonna quick save here. We're actually overflying a little bit. Oh well. Well, at this point, we actually might as well fly beyond it. <laughs> And then try to come back dog legging. Let me think about that. Like this. Okay. I don't know if that makes any sense. Yes, these grid fins are stuck. I don't think my action groups are working. Alright, I also want to come back this way a tiny bit. not like slowing down. The atmosphere does not seem to do much. There it goes. Okay. Oh, I think we've got inverted controls again. Okay, hang on. There we go, there we go, there we go. So now we're using as much of that body of the rocket to bleed off velocity. Look at that. Alright, we're going to lay it in mountains. Oh, that also did work. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I think our grid fins are still inverted. And we also do not have enough thrust with this one engine. Okay. 
<laughs> okay, well. <coughs> Good enough. I gotta get out of here, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. Super fun. Super fun. We can we can uh, do better in the future. I'll probably do another one of these at some point here this winter. Super fun. I'm going to revert to the VAB so we don't accidentally kill anybody. Uh, what do I think? Final thoughts for me, guys. I think this is a lot better game than what was originally had come out. I had a fantastic time playing today. I wish I didn't have to stop right now. I would love to keep playing. I've now spent almost five hours playing and I'm hooked. So fantastic job uh, to the teams at, uh, at Private Division. And uh, yeah, you, you did it. You've delivered a, a much better product and it's awesome. I didn't really experience any major glitches. Very good performance. It was a lot of fun. That's my official thoughts. Yours made, your thoughts may differ, that's fine. But I was very happy. I had a really, really good time today. Hopefully you guys did too. Uh, thanks for hanging out. We had a lot of fun. I mean, I at least did. So, yeah. Again, if you guys want some last minute Christmas gifts, uh, hit me up. EverydayAstronaut.com slash shop. Get some of our new merch. Get a ticket to a loved one for the Astro Awards. Come see me, Scott Manley. Uh, people from all walks of life. Joe Scott's going to be there. A lot of cool people. We actually have a lot of... We're going to be releasing more, like, special guests. So you guys know who's all coming. But, uh, yeah. And grab yourself some, some merch while you're at it. It it helps me do what I do. EverydayAstronaut.com slash shop. And those of you that are patrons, by the way, and YouTube members and all that stuff, uh, I'm shooting a video here any day. We'll hopefully, hopefully have a dialogue cut for you guys to check out and help us catch errors. It's a really fun video topic about... Uh, patrons and, and Discord and stuff did see me the other day doing, uh, adding jet engines basically to a Falcon 9 uh, for this video script. It was awesome. We spent another four or five hours doing that, so it was uh, a lot of fun. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys uh, have a great week. And I think the next time we'll see, I think the next launch I'm going to do is the Falcon Heavy uh, launch, which is currently scheduled for the 28th. So, I think we'll see you guys in nine days or so. Have a fantastic holiday season. That's it. That's going to do it for me. I'm Tim Dodd, the Everyday Astronaut. Bringing space down to Earth for everyday people. All right. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>